got YouTubers being banned from the platform. I don't know if you can call them YouTubers, but they got banned from the platform. We've got, without a crystal ball, throwing Clark Swanson so far under the bus that uh, she just, like you know, went reverse and forward. Reverse and then forward. And then reverse and then forward over the poor guy. Then we've got other stuff and things to talk about. This isn't going to be a long stream, though, because I got a lots to do. But since it's the weekend and you guys have been asking for it, let's go. 6-4 of 2021, I'm your host, you know who, the most infamous bad guy on the internet. No, you don't count. You don't count because you, or you're not doing anything fancy. If you want to do something, you would impress me if you would do. He's going to do something fancy tonight on Uni Rock Live. Biscuit Thursdays. It's Biscuit Thursdays. And let's go ahead and get this out of the way. If you want free rocks in the chat, you're going to have to type in there to get them. We got to get in here. So let's go ahead and get this first video going because I want to get through this. The hell is that? There's a noise out there. And I want to get through this and play some Tarkov early tonight because I know that you haven't had an upload in a minute, but we've been working on some really good stuff for you. So just wait. First things first, KJP tells us exactly why she settled. I just want to hear a little bit of it. Let's go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta hear the last part of that. Without a crystal ball. I'm brainwashed now. I am now brainwashed. Thanks to listening to that, I am now brainwashed. Gus Gus is around, Finn. Gus Gus is around somewhere. There he is. What's up, Gus Gus? Oh, he don't care. Hey guys. He's bad. As, he's as bad as busy. Okay, he's bad as busy. How are you? It's I can't hear you. I hope you're having a great day. It's it is not my low audio. It's hers. Beautiful here. I am so happy. It's beautiful here in San Francisco. The weekend is here. I hope you guys <laughs> get out and have some fun. Get some <laughs> and uh, we'll we'll give away those free rocks in about one minute. Keep an eye in the chat. I'll let you know when we got the countdown going until the giveaway. So you're gonna have to give me an emoji or something if you want the free rocks. Sunshine. I am so excited and I'm super happy because I have some new Because I'm about to throw Clark Swanson under the bus to share with you. So lawsuits are not fun at all. They're super stressful. I would know. They are so expensive. <laughs> they can also potentially I there I know those things because I just got sued by Toddy and now I work for her. Be avoided if I've never seen somebody so happy to be employed by Toddy Westbrook. Have you guys have you guys seen anyone that's been that's so ecstatically happy to be employed by Toddy Westbrook? If the parties can find a way to sit down. She's really one. excited to be the Toddy's newest uh, full time employee. The difference between regular employees and KJP, the other employees get paid. She's doing it because of a lawsuit settlement. Another and find common ground where. Find common ground? You begged her. You were begging her ass to let you off the hook. They can, they can work out their differences. All right, loading 100,000 rocks. All right, they're loaded. 
and that is exactly what happened here. No, it's not. Just quit lying to me. If you would have, okay. So, so here's how you know that what she's saying is bullshit. Because the only reason they settled is because Toddy Westbrook went to KJP's lawyers, or you know her lawyer did, and Toddy had KJP under the boot. She was, she just caused KJP. She tricked KJP into. You see, a lot of people think that. Uh, uh, Vin Saltzy made a mistake by filing and getting the case thrown out in Washington. No! He he had her eating out of his Vin Diesel-like hands. <laughs> because And here comes the points in, in 10 seconds. Um, He knew that lawsuit was going to get... This is just my opinion, of course. But he knew that lawsuit was getting thrown out. And he wanted to eat up KJP's money. So before the judge had even determined whether jurisdiction was there, he had tricked KJP through the pressures of social media to file all these things and waste all this money on a lawsuit that's getting thrown out before it goes to Minnesota. So then when, it, when they go to Minnesota to refile, they can approach her as a tactic and try to settle. And, you know, then, oh, here it comes. There it goes. Oh, you just got your rocks. Rocks just went out. So well, you can, if you missed them, you can get them in a little bit. But it was a completely strategic tactic from Saltsy, the Vin Diesel, Vin Saltsy, um, and it worked beautifully. I'm so happy to announce that I that a settlement has been reached. Well, she's reading from a script here, but she's not that good at it. Uh, she really should have done another take. This is obviously an upload. Do another take when you start to stumble. As to all of the claims. Or if you got a great editor like I do, busy, you're pretty good. If you got a great editor like me, your editor can take out those stumbles and stuff, but... Between my... I'm not saying you can't leave the stumbles in later in the video, but we just started. ...and Tati and James Westbrook. So... You did not! You didn't... No! This is not what happened! ...what happened here. I'm so happy to announce that I... That a settlement has been reached... As to all of the claims between myself and Tati and James Westbrook. Yeah, but here's the fucked up part. You promised Swanson anonymity. You told us that. You told us that you were holding, withholding his identity because you were given sensitive information and that you decided to bring the sensitive information forward in these little clues that you dropped. Okay. So the thing is, by you trying to withhold it from us and then you messing up and slipping up so much, you told us exactly what was going on. And just because you messed up and let it slip to the point where you got sued and then you got put up into this position, it doesn't mean that you didn't lie to Clark Swanson. You're admitting to the entire internet that you backstabbed Clark Swanson, that you promised him as a source. Now, of course, Swanson most likely expected you to stab him in the back to put out the info, but he never expected you to stab him in the back and give everything you have to Toddy Westbrook. And you got played like a Toddy Westbrook fiddle. In fact, I think Toddy Westbrook is secretly a professional fiddle player she played you so good. So I'm not at liberty to tell or discuss any terms of the settlement. But so why are you here? <laughs> what are you doing? What I can say is that both sides we engaged in a, in a lengthy mediation. I. She so badly wanted to say, I reached the settlement. So true, Finn. So true. Because Toddy came in there and said, this is what I want or I'm going to Minnesota. And she's like, I'll give you anything. And the I'll give you anything in a palette of Shane Dawson's makeup. The process was done in good faith. So during <laughs> the mediation process, both sides were able to openly and honestly share information regarding the claims and defenses. No, 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 no. You threw Swanson under the bus. Poor Swanson. He's done. It doesn't even matter. You didn't even care. You weren't even telling the truth. You were standing in front of Toddy just making shit up. Clark Swanson works for Donald Trump. Clark Swanson's the devil. Clark Swanson kicks babies. You tried to give her anything. And a especially the claims and defenses related to the defamation claims made in the Washington lawsuit. Especially the claims. Now, that didn't even, that sentence didn't make sense. That sentence did not make sense. It did not make that sense. That filed last October. <laughs> so through talking with one another in the mediation, I was able to share with the Westbrooks that as part of my defense, some of the certain statements that I had made 
that they had found to be disparaging had actually come from various sources. Various sources? Don't you mean the Swansonator? Don't you mean Mr. Poor Old Swanson who just got literally turned into a pancake under the KJP bus? In the mediation... I don't, I don't, I don't have a single feeling. I don't even care about Mr. Swanson or Toddy. I don't know him. I don't, I'm not pulling for one side or the other. I just don't, I don't know how she can be so happy. Does she not realize the entire internet would realize that she did, did him so dirty? Like, you will never be trusted again. I'm just being honest. I'm not saying this to put her down or shit on her. Because she just might watch this. Um, <laughs> I doubt it, but who knows. You, you now have told the whole internet that you can never be trusted in a journalistic capacity. Anybody that comes to you for a case later on when someone sues you, you're not going to stand your ground and say, no, they were one of my sources, journalistic integrity, because she's the one that spouts the journalism side of things, right? Normal YouTubers don't do that. She does, though. And you would think at some point she might say, I can't give up my sources. I can't give you my DMs. I won't give you my private communications. Sorry. But if it's going to save her a bunch of money, then she will. I also learned that... I learned information. Busy, busy. Your girlfriend loves you. I don't care if you're smoking crack right now. Well, you're supposed to be running the soundboard. Well, get back on it then. I'm not arguing with you. I'm not arguing with you. From them, that actually led me to believe that several of these sources had manipulated me. So, wait a minute. You said that your whoopsie trio, this show is brought to you by UniShield. When questionable beavers and Julian Ron McCray <laughs> Julian Ron McCray enter your internet space, use UniShield to repel all their attacks. Promo code R and Raw wears it better. <laughs> oh my god, that was good. Into publishing disparaging statements. R and Raw wears it better. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> About the Westbrooks for their own purposes. So you're trying to spin the narrative that you were manipulated and abused by people that brought you information. But you're the one that bragged to all of us that you dug it up yourself. In fact, you dug it up and you were snotty. You were literally snotty about it toward Toddy Westbrook. I don't know how that stacks. To otherwise cause harm to the Westbrooks. Because you caused harm to the Westbrooks. You did. <laughs> These sources came to you as a journalist, gave you information. You promised them you wouldn't share it. You went and shared it, made it into a bunch of videos to get money. The Westbrook sue you. Then you say, I'll give you my sources on a silver platter. I don't care if you're going to sue them. <laughs> because of this, I have since deleted these statements from my social media platforms. And I've removed... You deleted the statements long ago. You didn't since delete it. You deleted it long before it. All the videos related to this matter as well. Yeah, that, uh, but you already did that. As the Westbrooks recognized that I had been manipulated. No, they did not. If I were the Westbrooks, I would walk into Minnesota right now and drop that shit. Because she's already trying to lie. She's lying to us. You know? You want us to believe you're Team Westbrook now? Your team, what you, your Team Westbrook? And weaponized by some of these sources. After all the things you said about Toddy in my Discord server, now you're Team Westbrook? The Westbrooks and their representatives have also withdrawn their statements that they've made about me. Start Hold on a minute. No, they haven't. <laughs> no, they didn't. Where? Show me. Where did the Westbrooks withdraw any statements? They didn't withdraw shit. Over a year ago, one of their one of these sources in particular had repeatedly contacted me, totally unsolicited, and per I I don't know I don't know. She looks like a lizard person. Provided me. <laughs> it was the look. I'm not be. It, I wasn't being mean. It was the dress. The dress looks like something where if you were an alien lizard person that flew around in a UFO. That's the dress you'd wear. Wasn't that, that didn't have anything to do with KJP, damn it. Over the course of several months with disparaging information about the Westbrooks and their various businesses. Now, wait a minute. You said it was your journalism. Now, all of a sudden, it was somebody else's journalism disguised as your journalism so that you could not let people know it was their journalism? But nobody knew this up until the, until the Westbrooks told you that they wouldn't sue you if you told them this? 
don't believe you. It's now my opinion that this person contacted me for the purpose. Salty deleted stuff. Oh, I'm sure he did. I mean, that whole social media account was used for this case. So I'm sure he deleted stuff. Feeding me and manipulating me into publishing disparaging statements about the Westbrooks. What about the stuff you said that you dug up, though? It you published. And most of the stuff that was real bad, you said you put it out. The only thing Mr. Swanson, the only other person related to the story whatsoever other than you and the Westbrooks, gave you was the fact that he filed that lawsuit and then you revealed it. So, I mean, I don't know. This source then sued the Westbrooks and asked me to break the story about his lawsuit. That, 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 oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why aren't you saying his name? Why aren't you saying his name? This source, say that again. Are you admitting that Swanson was your source? Do you remember how much you lied to us and told us that, no, that, you, that your source was someone other than Swanson? Are you forgetting the amount of times you lied to us and told us that your source was not Swanson? You said, my, I'm not going to tell you who my source is, but my source is not Swanson. You said that a bunch is. I, you're on my channel. She's on my channel saying that. She's on my channel. I want that clip. I'm going to get that clip because I'm going to play you saying it's not Swanson. Next to you saying that it is Swanson. Next to you saying that it's not Swanson. Next to you saying that it's Swanson. contacted me for the purpose of feeding me and manipulating me into publishing disparaging statements about the Westbrooks. So Swanson manipulated you? How is he not going to sue you now? How in the hell are you not going to get sued by Swanson? To cause them. Why did you make this video? Why? This source then sued the Westbrooks and asked me to break the story about his lawsuit. How did you get a thousand upvotes here? Was a part of the deal for them to buy you upvotes? Because I don't understand how you got any upvotes. This source is the Westbrooks business partner in Halo Beauty, Clark Swanson. Oh my God, I didn't know she named him. Now, hold on. Wait a minute. Why wouldn't Clark Swanson legit sue her now? Okay, because Swanson could sue her and show all the times that she sat on YouTube and said that Swanson was not the source and then could show all the times that she's now say saying the opposite here. And that is defamation. So now, okay, so basically, in order to get out of defaming Toddy, you're willing to defame Swanson. Because you purposely either said it wasn't him and lied, and then you purposely said it was him. And because Toddy Westbrook is going to own him with the information you gave up, and because he can present how you are lying about this information, he could own you. He could own you. As a Don't you have legal help to tell you this? As a result of having the ability to speak with the other side and to better develop an understanding of what has happened, I have agreed to provide whatever information and physical evidence I have to the Westbrooks about my communications with the sources that provided me with such disparaging information and to cooperate in the Westbrook's efforts to address some of the damage caused by the dissemination of such disparaging information. As I'm losing it. How can she be this happy? It's like, it's like her dog just died, but she's sitting on YouTube giggling about it. It's like she had her dog put down. Who's that? Was that Nick, Felipe? It's like Felipe. She has her dog put down, and then she sits on YouTube and has a party. I mean... Wow, you are, you don't even care. You just don't care. You think that, like, you could just say anything. You just, you, you're willing to publicly prove you're a liar. I'm, I'm not trying to be rude. You're willing to publicly prove how much of a bold faced liar you are. Dear fuck, man. Wow. As there is ongoing litigation in other matters, none of the parties involved in our matter will be discussing or answering any questions. How, how have you now spoken for the Westbrooks like four times? Or did you get hired to never be paid, but you tried to try to work off the uh, amount of money that the Westbrooks wanted? Are you, are you now their social media liaison? About our life. If I were the Westbrooks, I'd be pissed you were speaking for me right now, honestly. Lawsuit or settlement. She does, Charlotte. You're right. You are right. Definitely. Thank you so much. 
she did. She set up a victim scenario. She set up a victim scenario. She's Clark. Now she's Clark Swanson's victim. Much for your support over the last several months and for your understanding. I really look forward to putting this all behind me. And I hope you you're not going to be able to put this behind you now, Katie, because you lied to our faces. You treated all of look, you may have gotten out of this with the Westbrooks, but you sacrificed everything else on YouTube for it. Nobody out there could ever trust you again. You've lied to us factually here. You lied to us to try to dodge a, a lawyer's bill. Because in reality, yeah, that suit probably would have kind of been expensive, but you most likely would have won because a defamation case, you know, it's kind of hard to win in the United States. Other places, maybe not so, but here, definitely. So I, uh, it just sucks. It just sucks you're willing to sit here and be like, yo, I know that I told you all vehemently, repeatedly, in interviews and on my own channel over and over that Clark Swanson was not my source. But Clark Swanson's my source, and you called us all liars. You called me a liar. You called everybody a liar who said that Clark Swanson had to be your source. You called Emily, but you owe Emily D. Baker an apology. No, you really do. You owe Emily D. Baker an apology, D. Baker. You need to bake Emily an apology. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. This is extreme. This is extreme lying. Look at my new look. I don't want to look like a 90-year-old anymore. I like it. Well, that's that looks like uh, that looks like someone who is named Busy's Fendom Rhetoric. That's a look that fits the name. Wow, 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 wow. How the internet changes people. Man. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. So Clark Swanson, uh, how how hard would it be to go find clips of her saying that, that Clark Swanson was not her source? You know what I want to know right now? I want to know what everybody else said about this. I haven't seen any other videos on this. I know her. she's turned down so low on her video that... Gabby Hanna trying to box rice gum and Tana Mosia now? Really? Gabby Hanna sharing videos of Dustin Daly's husband? Okay. Well, uh, what about... What's that other channel? Uh, T with Ollie? What, uh, Truth Sleuth. I guarantee Truth Sleuth's got something. Jeffree Star is exposing more. Without a crystal ball and Toddy settled. That's a week ago, though. Yeah, so that's nothing. Okay. Well, I've got a video coming out on this topic. I'm going to hook you guys up with a little more on my other channel. So as for right now, we've got Rev's statement from him. This is done uh, today about Shani for Christ being deleted. Well, I hope you stalkers are happy. I really hope you're happy. Because you have literally... This this video should be louder. This video should definitely be louder. Oh, thank goodness. I needed some caffeine so bad. Made a woman that doesn't deserve it at all. Lose her mind. Lo she's losing her mind? She's losing her mind? You have her questioning her very existence. She's questioning her very existence. <laughs> what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What are you going to do? Check her into the mental ward. I don't know. You trolls are satanic. And I know... Emily talked about it earlier tonight. All right, we'll stop by and check on it. Who you are. You literally are satanists. I know it. They're Satanists because Shani lost her brains? Does it make sense? I damn well know it. You think it's... This is deep. This is some deep conversation. Funny to see people commit suicide. Whoa! Whoa! What are you talking about? 
Is that what happened? Or to think you had something to do with it. I know it. They were interviewed on another channel earlier. They better be careful. They are deleted, so you can't do that. I, I Look, he's not banned yet is the only reason I'm playing this video. I would play some shanty video, but I ain't playing no shanty video because I ain't chancing it. He needs paper and tweezers. <laughs> you better not flag me for that S word because you know why? I am anti S. I am. What? 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 What is S? Sex? Not for people doing S. What in the Samuel H. Fucking stuff is he talking about? I'd love to be this high, high guy. I'd love to. But YouTube has to come and realize, and so does Google, that there are people doing S because of. What is S? I don't know what S is. The people that are on the platform and they don't even make content. Some of them make content, poor content called review videos and response videos. But their bottom line is destroying people. <laughs> How have I missed out? <laughs> what is on his neck? Is that a stitch? Does he have stitches? Lives. Oh, that's a tuft of hair. Where is it coming from? Where is the hair coming from? I hope you're happy. I really do. Oh, okay. The, okay, okay. The, the indie goodbye bye time. Okay, indie goodbye bye time. Okay, that's what S means. Okay. I hope somebody's happy okay. in this situation. I've never, I've never heard anybody call that S. I call it, I call it self goodbye bye time. You know what I'm saying? It's a little easier to understand it then. Because you took. Because I thought he might, I thought he might have been talking about some shit. I, I thought he was talking about the doo-doo. Something from a woman that is disabled and has nothing in her life. What does that have to do with people criticizing her public posts on the tubes? Except YouTube. I almost, I almost spit my coffee. Now that's a problem. That, that is actually a problem. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually an issue. When you've got nothing in your life except for YouTube, but you got kids and you got a man, you got a problem. You took that from her. Um, Finn says they say that people are trying to take their kids so they can be abused by the people. Oh. So it's one of those conspiracy theory type things. They're trying to act like that the shills on YouTube are trying to, to find excuses to feed them to the government bad guys. That's one hell of a conspiracy theory. Oh, my God. Did I tell you guys? Some of you don't know who this dude is, but DNAJ Lion is an old YouTuber that we used to debunk all the time. Crazy MFR. Kind of looks like him. Anyway, though, he was banned from YouTube and sued by an individual that he talked about that he made videos on. He just lost a lawsuit, a defamation lawsuit, for $5 million. He lost his YouTube channel and lost his business because it was deleted off the internet. And now he has to, all the money he gets is going to go to the people he defamed for years. It's actually going to set a new precedent on YouTube, in my opinion. We'll talk about that later, though. Basically, what it shows is if you if you purposely lie about somebody to make stories online, then you can get in a lot of trouble. Now, that is something that is going to, I think, factor in not with the Toddy Westbrook lawsuit, but because Toddy Westbrook's lawsuit ended so favorably for Toddy, it has inspired some MTV stars to sue Sherelle's world and John Yates. And we might take a look at that situation here in a minute, too. I hope you're happy. Christina says everything that happened to her is somebody else's fault, never hers. And drag has us shit ninjas doing things to her. <laughs> I heard about that. He like, wasn't she accusing drag of sending people in her house to smear shit on the wall? It's like some weird South Park episode. <laughs> I really do. He's trying to get emotional. Wow, this dude is, he puts the cow in low cow. He puts the lol in low cow. What's up, Cleary? Sabled and Eric says DNAJ Lion was straight up raccoon shit crazy. He was, but dude, $5 million lawsuit. $5 million. Okay? Like, he's done. He's never gonna, he's never gonna make that much money. <laughs> what is he gonna do? Has nothing in her life except YouTube has nothing in her life did you forget about the children <laughs> you took that from her 
I hope you're happy. I really do. I do think they are, yes. I think those people are very happy. <laughs> he gives black hole the nose hole. <laughs> you don't want to look up there. If you look, some say that if you look into Rev's nose, it's like staring into the abyss. And you know the old saying, the abyss stares back. <laughs> We gotta hurry up. I cannot be online uh, too long tonight, and I'm actually spoiling you guys rotten by giving you content as opposed to just playing video games. But I haven't streamed in days, so. This is John Yates. He's being sued. In fact, here's what I'm gonna do real quick. Give me one second. Okay, here's what's up. This is an MTV star named Janelle Evans. She's on something called Teen Mom. Some of you know this, some of you don't. This is an important lawsuit for YouTube, in my opinion. Hello, hey, Michelle, good to see you. I hope you're feeling better. So here's what's up. <claps> lawsuit started in the tsunami. <clears throat> Teen mom of Janelle Evans is suing blogger John Yates after he claimed that she's fired from a podcast including 90 Star, blah, blah, blah. In a federal complaint uh, obtained by The Sun, Janelle claimed the defendant Yates called Devin and told her that the former MTV star was let go from the podcast. So, I've read through this lawsuit because I'm working on a video on it. It's why I haven't had content for a few days. There's so many things to talk about and I've had to do a whole lot of reading, studying, and discussion to get to where I'm going to be at to release videos. So, you know how I am. I try to make sure I put the content together a little more now. And it's just a really weird time. I really want to decide where I'm going to be at on these stories before I start talking about them. Uh, because a lot of people on YouTube believe that Janelle Evans is suing these YouTubers for some type of money or relevancy. Now, there is actually a team of people suing what seems like a class action suit against a team of other people. And you remember somebody named... Sherelle's world from back when I hung out with KJPZ in the KJPZ in the Heezy, right? Um, now, Sherelle's world is the one who, out of nowhere, with zero evidence whatsoever, accused me of hacking her and then accused Katie of saying some really bad things towards her. Speaking of that, just kidding. Uh, now, that told me that Sherelle just likes to make stuff up because you remember she went out on Twitter and then on Instagram and did a video literally saying that Katie had done all this stuff that she just didn't do. She just did not do it. Uh, it was really extreme, really crazy stuff. So long story short, she got such a backlash for doing it that she kind of ran and hid and I didn't have to worry about all uh, Sherelle's world anymore now. Here's the weird thing about that. I checked in on Sherelle when I was doing some content because when I'm looking for videos to do and stuff, I'll look at all kinds of stuff and I barely talk about 90% of the stuff I look up. And I was looking at some of the claims that Sherelle was making on her channel and I was puzzled because it really seemed like Sherelle just grabbed anything out of the ether and turned it into a story so she could make money. Now, maybe she doesn't do that. Maybe it was just the videos that I looked at. Maybe she's changed. I don't know. This lawsuit, though, if you do go in and read what it alleges that John Yates and Sherelle's world has done, it does look really bad for them. I'm not saying that the lawsuit 
it doesn't, I'm not saying it doesn't look like that Janelle Evans isn't trying to get attention or money or anything like that because she may be, right? When did Sherelle make that claim? Oh, that was a long time ago, man. That was, uh, oh God, you'd have to ask the mods. They'll know way better than I would. But there's video. I've got the video still. If you want to see it sometime, I'll drop it for you. Okay, so now, basically, you're not going to like this one, but I know where we can go to get a hold of, of this lawsuit. God bless America. I'm dropping shit. Here's where we can go to get a hold of this lawsuit's paperwork, and it's right back to without a crystal ball. Now, we go to her page right here. We go to the video tab, and we scroll down, and it should be right around... How many videos does she put out per second? I would love to know. I'm outraged that my video appeared in Onision in real life. You're outraged. You were excited. You were excited and celebrating it. What in the world is this? Did a profit, profit, Josh Duggar, Duggars. Janelle Evans filed $75,000 lawsuit against John Yates and Sherelle's world for ruining her life. I don't know if they alleged to ruining a life. They're suing them for some type of like federal, uh, some type of extreme defamation. Though, if we scroll up, KJP is trying to be an EDB. Get it? KJP is trying to em emulate Emily Baker by reading Sherelle's world's lawsuit one line at a time, just like Emily does. And this is where, if I think you want to see this lawsuit, go pause her video and read through it. Because it says some crazy shit like... Actually, this is for Richardson. Let me go ahead here. Defendant Yates released a video on Instagram stating that Plaintiff Richardson was harassing Defendant Yates. Then accused her of neglecting and abusing her child and that she had a drinking and drug problem, which is untrue. June 11, 2020, Yates accused Plaintiff Richardson of attempting to defendant Yates' husband having an affair with another man and also publicly disclosed and doxed her husband's place of employment and her personal residence to his online following. So, it alleges a lot of really extreme stuff that I wouldn't even bother boring you by going through all of it, though Emily D. Baker makes it entertaining to go through all of it because she's a lawyer and I'm not. One thing we'll do, though, is my specialty, which is react to videos, see what's going on, and update our update ourselves with what we're seeing. Here we go. Hey, everyone. Um... Thank God, Johnny. Your volume's good. Way better than KJP. Thank you. I just wanted to hop on here for a few minutes and um, explain a couple of things, not in too much detail, but um, I feel like I have to say something because this is spilling into everything. So I'm going to start the clock. Let the room load, and then we'll get into it. Let's skip ahead here. You know, in in those lives where people are asking me about this, like if I talked about 90 Day, if I talked about Housewives, I didn't want like this. Uh, Therese says Emily did a good breakdown of it. Oh, she always does. Emily always does a great job. She's an excellent YouTuber. She deserves to have that, you know, 100,000 play button she got, and I just can't wait until she goes up to a million. It's going to be excellent because I've been watching her since maybe five or 10,000 subs, so... That'll be fun, right? This to be like a constant thing where people kept asking me um, about what's going on because I never acknowledged it. So that that's that's pretty much the main reason. I'm not gonna say too much because obviously I can't. Um, Gene, thank you for the super chat, Gene. I'm kind of just like want to get this off my chest real quick. Um, okay, go ahead, John. So yeah, I just I kind of want to continue on with life and not have this plagued on every future live. I'll do because obviously people have questions and that's fair. You should have questions. Um, okay. At least he's saying something, right? Because it's um, one of the reasons why I think this will be an important internet lawsuit, just like the Toddy Westbrook lawsuit was, is because this is a group of maybe I'd say Y or Z list celebrities. That's a really bad. Can you take that joke out of our roster? <laughs> You always put that joke on the teleprompter, and it's not fresh. We've been using it for five years. Whatever. You fucked me up, man. Um, Thanks. Thanks, Busy. God. Wild. I'll just say that. And um, so that's, that's number one. Uh oh, one reason why I... <laughs> My brain's just not working. One of the reasons why I think it's going to be an important internet lawsuit is it's almost another, you know, 
continuation of the Toddy Westbrook lawsuit, right? You've got celebrities, <laughs> sure, suing people, and they... It's kind of a strange thing. Wouldn't that be a trip for someone on television to sue you? Kind of means you kind of you might have made it, right? That might tell you that you've made it if you're getting sued by Janelle Evans and you talk about her. I really wish I knew how many subscribers John Yates had. That would really be nice. Though, um, it's a little strange. It really is. Reading that lawsuit, if he did what they claim that he did, he might be screwed. Because this lawsuit basically, and I'm not saying he did. I don't know what he did. I don't watch him. So, you know, some of you may watch him. And it's basically all the things they list that he did are really fucked up. So if they are true, I do think they'll be able to win against him. I don't know what it says about Sherelle, and that's why I'm making a video on it. So anyway. Um, number two, like I said, I'm not going to get into too much detail, um, but I will direct... Cody, everybody can see your foot in the background. <laughs> everybody, you know, if you want to get some type of insight into what's going on, Sorry, I will I will re um, redirect you to Emily. To the lawsuit? Because the lawsuit, it was like, well, Emily probably broke the whole thing Kate down, right? Baker's uh, YouTube channel. Um, she is a great attorney, and she gives lots of you know, legal perspective. She just went um, in explicit detail. Thank you, Heidi. She just went in explicit detail today. I think she spent like about an hour and a half um, or close to two hours, I'm not sure, um, talking oh, about it. this damn lawsuit. It, busy. And just to paraphrase Emily, some of the things she said. What are you doing, man? Get it off the screen. Hold on. I don't want to get this wrong. Really, come on. Oh, I clicked too. the wrong tab. I'm like, uh, why is I'm like, why is John Yates watching KJP? But I clicked the wrong tab. <laughs> um, oh, all right, man. not prepared. Um, you know, she said it's a mess. Uh, this is not a class action suit. It's a joke, poorly written. Um, not good. Yeah, but I mean, they can fix that very easily, John. And <laughs> I guess. <coughs> You know, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know anything about all the legalese and whether it's written well or not. I just think that the stuff they wrote in there, if I was John and I didn't do any of that, I would clear it up. I would prove it somehow. Or or just claim, you know, just go out and tell people I didn't do that because, you know, it is a little bit crazy. Really? Uh... Okay, so like Janelle says, he tried to get CPS involved and literally directed his audience to call, which you just can't do on YouTube. Told people... Um, he doxed, I guess. Now, I'm not saying he did this. I'm saying it's what it says. That he doxed her uh, husband's place of employment and their house and this other stuff. And, you know, it just sounds crazy when you read it. You think, oh, he didn't do that on YouTube. Because they'd be able to file strikes on him and get his channel deleted if he did that stuff. Won't hold up in court. Jurisdiction issues. Um, she was very, very thorough. And when I say thorough, she literally went line by line. And I think it was like over 100 bullets finn says he's always in one scrape or another he's got issues hangs out with sherelle and perry i don't personally care for him I, yeah i don't have any thoughts I, I don't have any thoughts about him i don't really know him i just know that sherelle didn't make i was told sherelle didn't make a statement and that he did so i just thought you know we'll just see what he says and let's hopefully we'll hear it in a second um lots of points and she really took the time and dissected everything so if you really want some insight into this lawsuit uh i would send you Busy. guys there if you really want more answers it's not just like funny. A, from like a that is not standpoint. funny That's stop making two. fun of our um, raw there's stop one it. thing i wanted to mention God. um a, a number in the lawsuit which isn't um just a bold-faced lie um you know a lot of you have been following me for a long time and you know i've been having issues with certain people over oh tell me about it john oh oh john we'd get along um i don't know <laughs> the last year i would probably i'm so dumb probably about a year year and a half <laughs> over um over over a year and a half <laughs> two years with the same people who are um, some of which are attached to this lawsuit. 
Ooh. And it's just that an ongoing suck. thing. If you've been following me for a long time, you will know that I haven't mentioned these people in, I don't know, since last Is he talking about Sherelle's world, guys? Let me know in the chat. Is he talking about Sherelle's world right there? The, the people who he doesn't want to mention? Is that Sherelle's world? I don't want to mention an entire world of people. You get my drift? I don't want to mention an, a whole planet of people. See what I'm saying? <laughs> last year. But here we are again today, um, and here I am talking about it, which I don't want to do, but uh, just to clear the air so people don't ask me on future lives, I just wanted to get this out there. So, um, <laughs> Banther tracks, at least somebody said it. One person in particular. Um, it's not. Had, okay. Thank you, Therese. Thank you. I mean, it's just, I, I don't even know where to start. He seems a little stressed over it, doesn't he? Okay, because I think one thing that you guys know about me is that I have a few specialties. I have a few specialities here on YouTube. Uh, GWT says, yeah, because Sherelle, you sued him and he rolled over on another creep. Holy shit. So he pulled a KJP. Do you realize that that's forever now on YouTube called pulling a KJP? Like if you if you get sued and you throw somebody under the bus and then run them over a bunch of times, that's called that that's called uh, rolling a, a KJP. Time for Uni Rock's body language, hosted by Doctor Rocka and Busy. Busy, it was an accident. I won't forget to say and Busy next time. Will you relax? Um made it <sighs> just can't seem to let go of me i'll just say that um because i have to be very careful of what i say um but i wanted to make one one bullet point from he seems very nervous um the, the many that are you know causes of action in this case um okay so let me just get to it well, what, what date was this? Like, okay, so... Said, like, what, what? He seems to be so nervous, he forgot what date it was. What's the date that you're... On a, I'm really good at body language reading. October 30th, um... Of 2021? Right, so I'm reading the... He's very embarrassed that his lawyer had to correct him like a parent stepping in. Good body language breakdown. The bullet. I mean, so, uh, since this lawsuit has been posted everywhere now, even TMZ, which I'll circle back to in a second. Was that one dude's name? Even Perez Hilton. And it's getting so much coverage because yeah. Janelle. Because there's a MTV star suing your ass. Attached to it. Now that everybody's writing about it, now everyone can see all these. This, this document and what's being stated on it yeah it's bad it's really bad i mean not, fuck I, I just read the paragraphs they were bad what they alleged that john did is pretty bad um i just i just wanted to make something very clear um so number 34 number 35 and number 36 damn it he's referencing the things that i thought were really bad on this lawsuit says on or about October 20th, on or about October 21st and 24th, um, 36, on or about October 26th, then 37, which is what I'm going into detail here on. And the only thing I will really give light to. Um, number 37, on, not on or about, on. Oh, don't you dare. <laughs> don't tell me they just miswrote the date, please. October 30th, 20, 2020, Defendant Yates appeared at Plaintiff Richardson's residence violating the trespass order and recording live footage. So let me just talk about this for a moment. Um, Uni Rock's body language says he just got way nerviouser. Um, because this is a... That's a medical term. Nerviouser. Boldface lie. One of many. So you didn't do it at all, right? They just don't have the date wrong, right? And this is the stuff I'm dealing with right now. Um, so on October 
October 30th, 2020, Plaintiff Richardson, who is the person that me and Cody have been trying to get away from for quite some time now, alleged on a, now this is court paperwork, a federal document and a bull face lie. And the fact that you can lie like this on a federal lawsuit. Well, tell us what it is. Tell us how it's a lie. It like, I know the type of person this person is, but this. Don't shit talk Janelle because she's just going to sue you for that too. This, where, where was this at, John? This blows my mind that you can be. I have no clue who Plaintiff Richardson is. I don't know. I don't know anything about this. I'm just now diving into this whole thing. I mean, it just popped off, so. John. That you can lie about something so extreme like this. John, where was this at? Um, Plaintiff Richardson's residence. So Plaintiff Richardson lives in Indiana. At the time, we were living in New Jersey. Um, so I just want to prove this to you guys. Now, this is not on or about. This is on. Well, yeah, but they what you read said that Richardson did it, I thought. The exact date. So on October 30th at 4.52 um, p.m., I went live. Sorry. I went live. That's pretty funny. From our residence in Seaside Heights at the time. At He's like, sorry. I like in that. In eight minutes That's on funny. IG Live. Okay, then. That's me malicious. I went. Then later on. Um, we were doing a Halloween Hot Topics with me and Monica from All About the Tea, also October 30th, 2020. And here is the live we did. John, do me a favor. Wear that jacket more often because it makes you look, I don't know, just more commanding. On October 30th, 2020, me and Monica, time stamped. It's, it goes for a little bit over an hour talking about housewives and stuff like that. So, John, tell me, how can you get from Indiana to back to New Jersey? Now, that is about a 16-hour drive. Hmm. Okay, guys? Yeah, but they just might have the date wrong, you know? The, the real question is whether you did what they're alleging in the paragraph, but I get what you're saying. And this is just one of the many... Oh, he's a YouTuber. Yeah. Falsehoods. That's being... Uh, written, portrayed. But why are you focusing so hard on the date of it, though? The date shouldn't matter at all. Like, if they just wrote the wrong date down, they're just going to update it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm just saying, like, it'd be better if you said you didn't do any of it. Like, whatever. I don't know. On and I don't know, John. I don't have nothing against John. I don't got nothing against. I don't like Sherelle. This lawsuit. Sherelle accused me of being a hacker. And it's it's, it's disgusting. So if you want to, you I have you can go to that, that. I still have that YouTube video from October 30th on my channel. You could you could scroll down and look for it. Busy. Also, Busy. I want to say this Get it off. real quickly. Hold Get on. it off there! It's Shut up! Disgusting. God, I wish I had a coke right now. This woman also filed a restraining order against me because I was the one harassing her according to her. Ooh. So Lauren says he's really sweating like grab a fire hose or call an ambulance. Holy shit. He looks like he's having a hot flash. That's what I was focusing in on on my masterful doctorate level body language analysis. On December 16th of 2020 doctorate level me and Cody along with Beth who's Danielle's best friend I don't know who Danielle is. You're confusing me, John. And Beth's daughter. Oh, God. Now you're adding more people into this. We drove from... Where were we at that point? Oh. Okay, so it was you, it was Betsy, it was Betsy's daughter, and your grandfather, okay? Our new house. So we drove from the East Coast to Ohio, and then we drove from Ohio to Indiana. Oh, my God. So you did drive there, huh? Indiana. An hour after that was we a got joke. There. <laughs> that took about what we spent. I, I don't know. It was like was, a day. What twelve hours to drive to Ohio? 
Wow, he seems really stressed out. Like, I, I don't know, John. I don't know how he normally acts and talks, but damn. He seems like he seems like somebody hanging out on someone's stream while they're drinking whiskey and they start talking about a very uncomfortable subject. And then we got uh, GWT says Danielle is from 90 Day Fiance. Beth is her best friend. Oh, okay, thank you. That makes more sense. And, and I just will get caught up on a, all this as I follow the lawsuit, but yeah. I'm right back into the car. That was within an hour and drove another six hours. That was when we went to Indiana to show up in person. This is the last time. This is the last time, Busy. Get it off the screen. Get it off the screen. We won. Um, and if anybody needs proof of this, I have the document. I have, Lauren, I have no clue what he's talking about either. I have no clue. Stating that we won. Also, in that, in that. Here's my problem, John. Let me hook you up real quick with a nice response to the things that you're saying with your mouth. Okay, John. Here's a little bit of like YouTube knowledge for you. Nobody knows what the hell you just said. <laughs> No, I mean, I'm sure some people just followed him, but for the average viewer who's brought into this due to the fact that a big YouTube lawsuit's happening between MTV stars and YouTubers, we wouldn't know what you're talking about. That's fine. What I'm going to do is try to update you. Now, now, hear me out from the perspective that you have no clue what's going on in Uni News. I'm adding a bunch of new topics to Uni News on Uni Rock 2. And we're going to be, because the uh, Toddy Westbrook lawsuit ended, and we've got this, not just this lawsuit, but a couple others that are popping up to talk about, uh, you know, we are going to uh, just keep you updated on it. Because regardless of what happens, and John, I think, has like 100,000 subs. I know Sherelle's got like 300,000, and a few other people have like, you know, oh my god. <laughs> The memes. A few other people uh, in, involved in this have a little... There's a few more subscribers involved. Uh, and we have MTV actresses. <laughs> I don't know if you could call them that. But they're because they're reality TV show people. But they could be actresses, I suppose. Involved in the whole thing. Um, it can really set a precedence on YouTube. The, I do believe the Toddy Westbrook lawsuit set a precedence. And is giving people the confidence... Uh, you know, to move forward in this. So I think we're going to see more lawsuits like this as time plays out. And I do believe that it'll happen when a YouTuber creates a story that's not there. You know, John and Sherelle have done content and I did some, t I did some asking around and I didn't really hear any favorable things about them. So if you watch them, don't get mad at me for saying this because this is literally me repeating information. And I'll let you know how I feel as I look more. And you already know I feel this way about Sherelle. I don't I don't know John, though, so no shade thrown at him. Though people have told me a lot of the content that they give comes from them trying to buddy up to people that are close to celebrities. And that there has been some um, accusation of digging into private data to try to make a video and to provide some content with the production, with what they find from doing that. So... You could say that for the same reason that Toddy Westbrook sued KJP, that Janelle Evans thinks or has the understanding or the perception that that's why she's suing Sherelle's world, John, and some other people. Um, whether or not what happens and all that, I really hope this lawsuit doesn't go through. Now, the problem is if Sherelle and John are doing what some people claim they are, which is going when there's no news, when there's nothing to talk about, they try to grab some big thing and always create a big thing, always have a big discovery, always have. That can lead people to doing this type of content where you cannot. I realized a long time ago, you guys know I used to cover the news. I used to cover like happening events and things. And uh, you'll say, but you do uni news now. That's just more of a joke. It's just me talking about what I want to talk about under the, the meme of a news show. Um, but back when I actually told people the news and what was going on, you know, you have to realize there's going to be days when you're going to report mundane stuff or just not have anything to talk about. 
Now, I solved that because I had a gaming channel, which was Unirock 2 at the time, and I did a bunch of other content, so I never had to worry about that. If there was nothing happening, I could just go do a different type of video and upload it, and I was good. But I did see uh, so many YouTubers fail because of this. I saw so many YouTubers no nosedive uh, because they tried so hard to always have the biggest story, and if you followed KJP throughout this last year and have been through all the ups and downs and lefts to rights and all that with her, you know that's what she did. She would have three to five uploads a day. She still is. She would need content for those uploads, and eventually she hit a point where she didn't have anything else to talk about and she had to start digging and had to start looking and had to start going really deep. And I believe the motivation is the same motivation that every YouTuber feels at some point in what they do. You realize that you make money and you can make great money if you have a bunch of views coming in. And when you see your views go down, you see your revenue go down. If you're one of those people that watches your, uh, you know, real time uh, algorithm, if you're watching all your views come in and you're just really caught in it it can lead you into doing content like i just described did john do content where he created a fake story in order to have a good news day when there wasn't one i i'm sure he didn't though that is the accusation that's out there did sherelle do that well i know factually through my own experience with sherelle's world she is willing to make up anything she she will say anything it's almost incredible to me that she has subscribers when everyone has to know that she will literally make any she takes if you go to her and tell her something she's convinced it's true like you could go to her and say this is true snakes have wings and she'll be like yeah there's flying snakes that's Sherelle's world's channel I don't know if that's how John is but that's Sherelle so you know we'll have to wait and see what happens God only knows, right? God only knows. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And uh, a story that I've been kind of following the uh, live stream that uh, was, how do I say this? It was the live stream that never ends. Bad? <laughs> a, 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 a mom that is bad? If you've ever followed the quartering mythology, then you know that, that are, there's some really good stuff there. A father that is also bad? Uh, um, pet owners who are bad? Oh, dude, she's such a bad pet owner. Like, Shani is a really bad pet owner. You just don't understand how she treats her cats and her dog and her gerbil and her... Busy! Get that over there! What are you doing? That's horrible! I can't look at that anymore! I don't really um, know any other way to categorize it. I, I've seen this video. I didn't want to make a video on it because um, it was just too much. I did, though, uh, send the video up the Lolo. ladder to the what people the that I knew I didn't uh, do that. on YouTube and I didn't just asked her questions Where about it, it from? and thought, That wasn't you know, me. I didn't um, put that up. You're alive. Pet did it You're alive, Busy. You're and, alive. Get it off my screen. Uh, but yeah, the quartering. Lo <laughs> Lono, the quartering failed this hard. Really, what it depicted was a, a mom and dad yelling at a, uh, a young autistic kid, their kid, I assume. Yes. That was their kid. They didn't steal it. Um, for not holding the... Wh why would you say that, Jeremy? Why'd you say it out Although, loud? Although, why don't you have the cat in a cat carrier, a pet... I asked the same questions. ...carrier, like a normal person. Um, the whole thing. See, I'm more concerned about the cat... No, yeah, beagles... <laughs> beagles are the, the, the most, like... Uh, personality-ish dogs you'll find. They're so cute. Yeah, but that's They're so cute. How I am. Uh, you see, YouTube streamer finally banned after the video breaches safety policies. YouTube has made efforts to crack down on users that breach their terms and conditions over the past. Anybody got any good videos of her that I can actually play without having to worry about anything? 
You know, well, I'm, I'm going to go to Drag's channel. I'm going to go hear what Drag said. Two months. And I've can somebody get me a link to Drag's channel in the general room, please? There's several complaints. Streamer uh, Shani for Christ has been banned for violating the site's policies. I always thought her name was Shanty for Christ because a shanty is like a little shed or some shit. Isn't that what it? Yeah, it's like a little area. Like a house. A really small, a shanty. A fucking shanty. Dornbush was. You are so uneducated. Also uh, locked up for going after the her former partner, Jason Ergoff, in 2019. Uh, a verified report found that she raised her hand uh, hands to him before lashing him with a I'm sorry Jeremy I'm just playing whip. I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to mess with Jeremy's uh confidence interesting username you chose there I can tell he needs a little boost of confidence I'm sorry her main channel has now been removed for a video oh damn huh. <sighs> that wasn't a fake one that time Jeremy I can't make excuses for that showing her current partner <laughs> threatening uh, to raise their hands to one of their kids. but she So it wasn't Shani. It was Rev. She continues to try Rev did to it. evade the Hashtag Rev did it. System. As reported by Kat Turn Tenbarge, who is largely hated by... How did you do that? How did you mess that name up so bad? Community because... Yeah, she um, sucks. She is a, a garbage urinalist who seeks to uh, write fake outrage pieces on YouTubers. To make money. They make money like that, Jeremy. In this particular case, she covered something interesting and worthwhile. Um, now, never, never thought that she they reported would come. on June 1st, a YouTube Twitter response claimed that Dorbush's initial stream was not in violation of any policies and therefore it would remain live on the on the platform. However, a second comment on June 2nd shows one of YouTube's representatives confirmed that the stream did violate the policy and that- This is really boring. Um, oh, there we go. I got Drag's, Drag's, I got Drag's channel. Drag's been talking about uh, Shiny right, for a while. Uh, so Tardbot just went off and let us know that uh, this individual here has something to say and in this particular video it's a short one called I hope you're happy ellipsis uh, rest in peace Shani for Christ on YouTube for good so we, this is the official fifth time Shani's quit the fucking internet and so it's being delivered here the fifth time damn here by her manlet Jason so thank you Jason for your service uh, so let's see what what he has to say here his name's Jason well I hope you stalkers are happy. Okay, so he's just covering the response because we just watched that. So we got Minecraft, Shanny Talk, AMA, Shanny uh, is no more. Hashtag Shanny is no more. Drag reviews the plan. Okay, maybe there's some good. Oh my God, what the hell is that toilet? What is that? What's that toilet? Is that a toilet? Ah! Billy, play some music. I'm going to puke. My God! What in the fuck? It's not the toilet one, is it? Is it? What's the title of it? Evidence of Child Abuse Part 2, Shanny for Christ, and Rev Apartment Disaster. Okay. All right. It doesn't have the toilet in it, does it? Please don't tell me they have an OnlyFans. Does the OnlyFans have the toilet? Is the toilet involved in the OnlyFans account? Because <laughs> I don't want to see it. Oh my god. That is... that. What happened? What happened to the toilet? That's not natural. That is not natural. God help me. What is that? So... It's like Sh it's like Sean Hufford's week weekend update. <laughs> Y'all saw the first photo of the older boys room. <laughs> do you get it? Do you get it? <laughs> it has to do with pegs. Oh my god, it was a bad joke. It gets worse. 
No, she really does. How is her name Shanty? <coughs> Hold on a minute. <coughs> I'm gonna fucking puke, man. You guys are torturing me. Torturing me right now. Okay, so you're telling me that there's an OnlyFans named Shanny for Christ's OnlyFans account? Like that... <coughs> that would have to be the name of it. That doesn't work. How do you got a For Christ in an OnlyFans account name? Maybe it's a Mary Magdalene thing. Maybe it's a Mary Magdalene thing. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're, I swear to God, I'm going to throw up if I keep seeing that fucking toilet. It gets worse. On her OnlyFans, she was in the bath and videos of Carrot Boy, Rev, having sex. The guy, Rev. The Rev guy that you showed me a little bit ago. Uh, Shani and Rev were getting it on for cash. You forgot. For Christ. I was still in a state of shock. And so, you know what? I'm trying to handle a few things at once. But I, somebody said, look, Greg. I, I literally felt sick. Like, oh my God, I saw it again. It's in Discord. The fucking thing's in Discord. Oh, somebody help me. Everybody needs to see this. So, you know what? That was a great idea. And I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you, person who reached out to me. Because this, everybody needs to see this. I'm skipping the first few bit because we got some technical issues. And we got that sorted so you're not missing anything. But uh, if you are sensitive to evidence, clear evidence of child abuse. This guy? Drag has it wrong? I'm just playing. You don't want to watch this. She went after her current partner? I'm trying to think of a way to describe just or even preface what you're about to see. Well, if we're going to see that toilet, the word peg comes to mind. Huffle. And the only way that I can sort of phrase it is that we call him Baby Carrot because a baby carrot is bigger than his. Is it? Is it? Was he? Did he also do the whole bathroom picture thing? Like yes. Steb. And this did he have weight loss pictures like Steb? Try to offer a little bit of levity. Uh, Rattle says, as a Christian, I'm glad Shani is no longer able to make us look bad. Well, Rattle, I'm a Christian too. If you think I'm of just, this, I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. As some sort of video game. And I'm being serious. I'm being dead serious. And the higher level you go, the harder the bosses get. If the boss is not vomiting, then I agree with you, Drag. Think of it like that. Okay. The higher this man goes into this residence, the worse than the fucking abuse gets. Each level is progressively fucking worse. Ooh. Once you reach the top level, you're going to realize something. And it's going to anger you. I won't even tell you what it is. You're going to realize it. After you hit the second level and you're disgusted. After that, you get a good idea of how each floor oh, is a progression. Shit, if he's taking this long to explain this, like straight up, something really bad's coming up. Just completely abhorrent conditions. And then you'll realize what was actually going on here. It's child neglect is a form of abuse. That is child neglect is a form of abuse. Just in case, just in case we're, we're not clear on that. Child, let me, let me repeat that for the people in the back. Child neglect is a form of abuse. Yeah, true, true. I'll say it one more time. Child neglect is a form of you abuse. You better to be all over your Got a mouth on me too, and I know how to use it. Ah, nigga, you get. There's a reason these two didn't want the police to come in. There's a reason these two people were so afraid of CPS being called on them. There's a fucking reason. They knew they'd be in fucking jail right now. That's why. Really? You're going to hear me talk to the gentleman in here and ask him what he's... Why is the toilet covered in dots of blood? What happened? How is it even possible? That's not normal. Was there a murder in the toilet? Somebody.
somebody killed someone in the so toilet. This is what he smells. There's a reason why these two didn't answer the door multiple times. They were fully fucking aware of this shit. They're fully aware. They didn't care. You better just want to be all over your behind. Got a mouthful of me too, and I know how to use it. Ah, nigga, you get. I'm, I'm not answering super chats. I actually, I'm about to figure. I'm about to take this shit off. Now is not the time for that. I look. I appreciate it, but I'm taking that shit off. Okay. This this ain't the time for super chats and shit. If you if you want to, feel free. But I, I removed it. I don't want that to be distracting at all. Let me get this out of the way. The there's two people important right now. You can go eat a dick. Matter of fact, matter of fact, whoever. What the hell? Yeah, a rev left all of this. Rev left all of his comic book stuff here, even his Magic the Gathering stuff. Okay. Magic the Gathering? It, it Listen, that's very expensive shit. That's that's worth some money. Not if they're comic books. If they're cards, they're worth some money. Cool. Yeah, that's... Yeah, somebody... Uh, uh, somebody's going to come up a little bit later uh, wants to look through that, see if there's anything valuable. So that... and Because people were offering him money for that, and he just left it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Magic the Gathering stuff's worth money. Yeah, hey, yeah, I, I like magic. Ain't no haters here. Fuck. It's really easy, easy to trip. You know how I play magic? If you want to play magic, you got to use something called Cockatrice. It's a program for your computer that lets you download every single card at once and then play it for free. So you don't got to pay all this money to collect shit. You can just play the game. Here. Take your time. Take your yeah. time. And there's nothing in there. Um, trainer. Some Wait a minute. So he had to wipe her booty? That still doesn't... Look, I know how the, the female body works once a month. That does not explain that. <laughs> that does not explain that. Like a sound system. Uh, well, this, this room doesn't look got, too bad. Why'd they leave Darth Vader? Why'd they leave Darth Vader? He's got BB guns around here. Were they just too busy to pack up? Looks like it's quite a few. Because I know she told people that, that, that they could go and have this stuff, and they went to get stuff and found out that that's, this is what it looked like, right? Is that a hole in yeah. the wall back there? Where? Oh, this Down, is nuts. Down uh, so. near the desk on the right? Yeah, that's... I think that's for sewage. Oh, okay. And that's an access panel. I think that's... Oh, it's a fly. It's, oh, Jesus. Yeah. How do you cook? It gets worse. It gets worse. Oh, it gets worse gosh. than this. Yeah. They left a perfectly good bag of sun chips? Okay, here's your expensive French door uh, refrigerator. Boom. They didn't leave Dr. Pepper. That's a sin. Yeah. Oh, my fucking what God. What the fuck? What? Pickles! No, why did you leave the pickles? To the bottom of that thing. Can, can you point at the bottom? Here? Yeah, what is all Why is there blood in- <laughs> There's blood everywhere! That Something happened. happened. Oh, God. Something Both bad of, happened. What is that? Something bad oh, happened. It was not okay, so he oh, went I'm through and blurred some shit. Alright. Good. Uh, large board. Well, which one- Which- Which one had the blood sheet collection? Okay, just for a point of clarification, um, this is the oldest boys' room. Uh, oh, the come one, the on. The plushy room that we're talking come about. Come on, no. No. It's no. Worse. Here's all of uh, Rev's Magic the Gathering stuff. Okay, that's worth some money. What? Th what happened? How in the world, why would he leave a binder of the, he could take those to a store, a card store and sell them. Like just, there you go. Just sell them. You could just sell them. There's all this old game, game stuff. That's a Sega Genesis and a 32X. That's worth like 60 bucks right there. And here's the microphone bucks. that he absolutely had to have. 
and the Batman thing. What is all yeah, over this the floor, man? What is this? It's like did the it higher a, you go, the worse. Did a shanty hurricane happen? It gets. Hurricane yeah. shanty. Ready whip? Why do they need it up here? God hell I know. He is the most useless human oh, alive. That's the green screen. Five hundred dollar Mike. Why did he leave it though? Like, I swear, dude, those magic cards, they could have taken, a, like, a bunch of this stuff to a pawn shop and to another store on the way out and gotten hundreds of dollars in their pocket. That's no joke. Yeah. It's just weird. I didn't check behind it. <sighs> oh, there's more garbage in the behind it. Oh, oh so they were doing... Uh, they, so they were doing streams in the stairwell to the top floor. Yeah. What? Why? There's food all over the place. Uh, be careful. Why? She's a large woman, I know, but... What the... You fuck? have some help coming, by the way. Uh, he's he's right outside. In the room? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Amazing. That, that turned out to be a lie. Yeah. The Christmas tree that she wanted, for some reason. Yeah. And here's the uh, nerd kid's room. Look at this place. I they have a bad reputation at the shop, pawn shop. Uh, they didn't have enough room in the SUV. They should have just, like, take a day. And why didn't they have a yard sale? Have a damn yard sale or something. It's just such a waste of money. Oh, yeah. There's some, there is some mold. There is some damn mold up in here. <laughs> Yeah. It's getting moldy in here, so take off all your clothes. Snack kicks. Well, at least that's what he Shani. Uh... That's how Shani gets Rev in the mood. She sings that song to him. Oh, uh, a stand for his bed, but his bed isn't. Oh, I would be like diving into a river after I left this motherfucker. And I would then, after jumping in a river, I'd go get into a bathtub full of bleach. Ah, you ever watch that show where they hunt alligators? Well, the main character guy. It's a reality TV show. You'd hunt alligators. Every day when he got home from work, he would put a, a bleach into his bathtub and get in there, and he'd have that Louisiana accent. I'm scrubbing my feet with the bleach in the bathtub, Virginia. And I would have to have a bleach bath, yes. Isn't that much better off? You know, unless... You know, my girlfriend would make me take off all my clothes at the door and go in straight in to take a shower. She, or she, she'd spray me off with the hose, then make me take a shower. Unless they took the, um, the sheets with them. Which They're is, idiots which and maybe. waited until the last minute on there. You've got to be joking. It was just pure laziness. That's it. And you guys know this is Drag's channel. I'm, I'm subscribed on my other account. This is my gaming account. But I'll subscribe on both. Shanny needs Dr. Phil. Very true. Very true. And here's, here's the kid. What? What's on the chairs? What is on those chairs? Room. What is it? Okay, this is the kid's bathroom. Yeah. Does the light work? No. So the light doesn't work. <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah. They're they gotta go pee in the dark. They're too fucking. What if the kid's scared of the dark? He's never gonna go pee. Easy to call maintenance to come fix it. Yeah. Well, they probably it probably fixed when they weren't paying their rent, so they didn't want they didn't want maintenance come in. Uh, yeah, yeah, maintenance they, came in and saw this, then it would give CPS probable cause to come in and, and fucking take the kids. Oh, what yeah. happened? What happened there? All over the place. I guess that's I don't know what those are. Those last couple things. There's probably keys. The keys that he said he lost. Sir, they were stolen. Yeah. There's food in here. There's a game controller. They piss in their beds and floors, probably because there's no light, and they legit are scared of the dark. Oh, look at air purifier. Yeah. They, they left it. so much stuff, man. Like, the, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Isn't some of this stuff worth something? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think of where he put the uh, 
PS5, and I just don't see it. What the hell? Is that a television? Oh my god, yeah. that's a TV. And a microwave. Yeah, there's a microwave. And a laptop. Yeah. Um, that's cereal and food on the floor. Ah. Unless it's down here. Or is that? That's a speaker, I think. What the hell, dude? How do you leave all yeah. of this? Oh, it's a webcam. Oh, my God, bro. I want that TV. Send it to me, Drag. <laughs> Send me that shit. I'll have to keep it outside and scrub it for a good four I days. I but... opened up the uh, drawers if they do open up. If those, you might need to get a screwdriver because they're probably stuck shut. <laughs> There's a, uh, a blowhorn. I not blowhorn, whatever. What, this is the thing that G T Man uses. Yeah. That's a nice bed. Or at least it was. Her bong. So they're going to buy all new blankets, all new pillows, all new TVs, all new uh, uh, refrigerators, all new everything. Shani never left the bed, says Christina. Yeah. The mattress doesn't look uh, too bad. VCR. That's a DVD. Yeah. VCR DVD. Yeah, that's for a cable. Xfinity. Is it a guitar? Here's that's all. 50 bucks. 50 bucks right there. 50 the bucks. Laptops. Those are laptops, yeah. Yeah. What and the hell? Two turntables. You know, so two turntables and a microphone. <laughs> Guitar, amplifier. That's an orange! That's an orange amp. $110 right there. Yeah. But uh, you can't plug a guitar... Uh, what's that called? Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero guitars do not plug into amps, Rev. Which Oh Make my god. What in the hell? Yeah. Is that barbed wire wrapped around that bat? <laughs> What's going on in this house? Yeah. Why is she so crazy that she told people they could go there and have all this stuff? Of course someone's going to go in and record it. Ah! It looked like blood. <laughs> they put one of the gerbils in there, didn't they? <laughs> <gasps> yeah. Hey, there's beer. That's ham. That's ham. Yeah, that's Corona. Doesn't drink. How ironic. Drink. Why, why would there be? It's a, there's viruses all over this house, and there's Corona in the fridge. Beer in there. He doesn't drink. Yeah. Corona life. He's a fucking liar. He does drink. Yeah. Why do they broadcast every detail of their life? It just seems so crazy, man. They need to cleanse the place with fire. That's the only way. Is that a wig? Here is the master closet. The master closet? Okay, as I was about to say, please There's don't say that's a bedroom. That's that. So maybe the PS5 is in here, and I just am not seeing it because it's under a pile of shit. And why, why is the PS5 so important? Are they trying to find it because they want it? I'd take it. I don't want to. I'd, I'd open it up and disinfect the inside of it when I was done. Get hepatitis. <laughs> Close the fridge, wrap it in a bungee cord, and launch it into the sun. That would be a way to disinfect it. One of the only ways. <laughs> Okay. 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 What in the fuck? That did not happen in one go. This is like a pile, okay? Oh, thank you. Wait, this is a here, hoarder's paradise. Here's, here's a master bathroom. How do you use it? A 
That's not the bloody toilet, is it? Because I can't. Oh my god in heaven, that's so gross. Oh my god, that's so fucking gross, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Ugh. <coughs> Ugh. All right. Oh, she's got a scale. It's not. It's not what you think. It's for. It's <laughs> <laughs> a fucking scale. Yes. Well, it works too. So. I'm trying not to laugh. Bad. <laughs> Bad uni rock. Is that string? Help me! Help me! What the bathtub's the cleanest thing in the that's the cleanest thing in the whole house. Yeah. That's a clean bathtub. Uh, that's clean. And that's for sure. It's a it's a it's a bed that like it tries to woo you into it, but once yeah. you get in there, you immediately so die. Katana, and it too. eats you like a Venus flytrap. The, the bacteria just kills you. There's a katana? I think I see it. The katana. What katana? He left the no, katana. It's like. Oh, he took the katana. All right, this is this is the end of the video. Uh, it was only about twenty three minutes long. So, uh, like I said, if you guys notice, sort of going from the bottom up, you notice there were and in the room. Good Except God, this is the dude! Oh. where did the shitty toilet come from? <laughs> No, it's not. It's a bloody toilet. Oh, I know that. That was that's what I was trying to say, Christina. Yeah, that was, that's what I was inferring. Okay, so did um. Let's see here. Uh, let's go with Shanny for Christ. Let's hit enter. Let's filter this down to just uh today. And it looks like there's a lot of videos for today. A lot of videos from today. Uh, let's go with this week. Let's go with this week. In the part two video, there's a part two? Where's the part two? Oh, God. It, oh, no. Okay. I see it. The hell, dude? Is my Discord crashed or what? Okay, something's wrong with my Discord here. I'm going to have to reload it. Okay, get ready for part two before we play some Tarky. Check, 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 check. Oh my god, dude. Wow. Wow, wow, that's crazy bad. That is crazy bad. Wow. Yes, Busy, wow. Yes, Busy, wow. Here we go. All right, let's get a little bit of a song going here. And let's skip ahead. Beautiful. Doing great here. Good to see you in, are in good. Right? Yeah. We're gonna Look how them. flat Don't this land is. That. We'll feed them. She goes live because she doesn't want people looking at this. Tell. Oh my fucking god! No way, dude. Oh, they don't they said people came in with bags of cat feces and threw it all around. Yeah, right. Um. I, I swear to God, the, that's not my cat feces in my house. Somebody invaded my house and threw bags of cat poo poo everywhere. I Come on. Oh, okay, okay, Come okay, on. Okay. Oh, I can't. I can't. Oh, hell no. Oh, okay, what? Okay, get out of here. What? I can't. I can't. How? That's not possible. Why would a cat do that? So the cat kept going in until it had to be years went by, had to be months went by, and it started, oh. <coughs> okay.
So Oh my god, you so, never you would never forget that smell. You would never forget. Bad that this guy's gagging. That oh god, that you'd have bad, to. Folks. You'd so have to. That that object that y'all see down there, uh one of the cat owners uh was talking to us and said, "That's that's actually some sort of automatic uh or I guess self-cleaning uh, you know, cat litter system." Oh, no way. And, but what you're supposed to do is that there, there's a catch tray underneath it, I believe, and you're supposed to empty that every so often. Uh, the reason you see all that runoff is because they just never emptied it because, you know, why would they? Oh, my God. Like you know how easy it is. You just pull that thing out and you just go dump it in a trash bag and then tie it up. You're done. Or you can have that in your floor forever. Someone's actively still smoking right here, actually. It smells, uh... <laughs> they come in and there's like a, a joint just laying on the floor burning. Terrible. Somebody was here yeah, was smoking approximately three hours up, ago. Uh, in, in the room on his side. And and by the look of this blunt, it was a it was a shit ninja. I, I feel like I'm getting some secondhand smoke. Vino, what's up, buddy? Those are maggots on the floor. No fucking way, dude. Oh my god. Wash and dry it on. I'm gonna throw up, dude. I'm legit gonna puke. Like they were ever used. I huge shock there. Huge shock. Can't get to the other child's room. Who knows? In bed that they were. That made so. Video where remember when we. This guy gets confused by the stinky smell in the bat in the room. No way, dude. I skipped the word vagina. But First found out how filthy they were. When Rev was doing the Magic the Gathering video and we paused it and we saw all the trash everywhere and Rev got upset and then he turned the lights out and said that he cleaned it and we all knew that he was lying. He didn't clean shit. This is this is what is in that bag. Oh, Rev did not clean shit. That's factual. After, even after people pointed out that he lives in absolute. Rev did not. Oh God, no, 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 I'm gonna fucking puke, dude. Oh my god. Oh my sure, god. My camera's picking up enough. Oh my god in heaven. Lord help me. There's no light. What 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 I I'm broke. I've broken. This is the only time I've ever broken while live. What bathroom is this? Whose bathroom is this? Lights in this bathroom, but my camera's picking up enough. That right there. Yep, yeah, and that's where the thumbnail picture comes from, right there. Oh god, why'd you this, pause so, it there? Uh, why'd you the pause it there, Jack? The autistic boys' room, and this is it. This is appalling. I, I'm not sure what happened to cause that, but I can tell you that that child probably needed to go to a doctor at some point because holy hell. Yes. And the fact that <laughs> that that had been sitting there for ages. Oh God! You. But we already knew. A lot of us already knew. And this is what she allows to. Transpire. Oh my God! In stuff. heaven, it's help disgusting. me! She allowed her kid to live like this. You can see the fucking flies. It's a waste of a good Mario Toadstool free one-up mushroom. It's a waste. Alright, guys. If there's... I have 90% of this shit. I'm sick to my damn stomach, y'all. Trash. The rest of it's covered in piss. It's just gross. Nice guy. You guys are really right, coming that's, at me. This, is, this is the end of the video. Um... <laughs> How much money do you yeah. think? We so, want to make all the money for ourselves. We don't want Shannon to make money off her own name. We want to make money off Shannon's name. Shanny, do you want to do you want to join my network? I'm I'm creating a network. Do you want to be a part of it? Your network. Yeah, real stream network. No joke. Seriously. Your network. Is he serious? Money on here. He also was really creepy towards women. Yeah. I don't. Okay. Have you spoken to what is what is uh YouTube said? Ugh. Okay, okay, let's talk for just a second. And if the peeps are gonna play Tarky Time, then uh, hit that staging room.
my God, you guys were not joking. Um, this is an insane story. I might do an upload on this whole thing. We'll have to wait and see, though. Okay, that is a YouTuber named Shani for Christ who was deleted by YouTube for breaking the child safety um, rules. And it's kind of strange to see that happen. You know, it's a weird, weird thing. She's been on the platform for a long time, uh, done a lot of crazy things. And I remember watching one of her videos on my old live show where we would watch a lot of low cow videos, public freakout videos, flatties, just any cringy stuff that was out there, right? But um, I never covered her a lot because, uh, you know, she just seemed to be your basic kind of um, insane low cow uh, on YouTube. Uh, but now that she's been banned, the story of her being banned for what she did is it's, it's making its way out there. There's a couple videos I know that... Um, Oh, shit. I'm not going to remember her name. She did a video on Shani. It's got about 500,000 views. Uh, Cecil McFly. And Cecil does pretty good videos on that type of stuff if you, if you want to get caught up on the whole thing. But that was about a year ago, so none of the recent stuff's there. Now, the story, just so you get caught up on it, they were moving. They got in their car and left and told people, hey, that house where we lived has expensive stuff if somebody wants it. So, of course, people took her up on the offer and went there and found that and started filming. So, it's one of those things. If you leave a house in that kind of horrible position, don't go on YouTube and tell people to go there and take things. Because then, if it looks that bad, they're going to upload on it. Now, once Shani got in the car, I wanted to play you the clips of them in the car driving. Because in the car, a lot of really, really bad things happened. Um, they started fighting. I guess they pulled over at one point because the cat was just, they just took a cat and threw it in the car. And then the cat jumped in the back seat with the little boy and Shani said, oh my God, our son killed the cat. And Rev really liked the cat. So he pulls over and gets out, starts flipping out, yelling at the kid, saying some really bad stuff. Now it's funny that he goes on YouTube. I showed you that video of Rev and he's saying, um, what was he saying? Uh, Shani's losing her mind. Look what you did. It's like, dude, you did that. If she got banned because of what happened in the car, he's just as responsible as everybody else. He should have took charge of that situation, made sure it was safe, made sure things were good, took time to get ready for the trip. You know, there's not a lot of things that explain that happening. Um, there's a couple things that could explain why that's happening, but I'm not going to name them off myself. You could, though. Okay, I think we're good. Now, here's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to be uploading a video that has to do with these lawsuits. The end of the Toddy Westbrook lawsuit where KJP throws Clark Swanson under the bus. We've got the new lawsuit against John Yates and Sherelle's world. And yes, it, it kind of seems like it's a continuation of this entire, you know, celebrity or famous person suing the most defamatory or, let's say, imaginary YouTubers out there. The ones that are taking all these insane clickbait stories out of things that are happening that end up getting them in trouble later. Okay? Emily D. Baker covered it a little bit. And supposedly, the Toddy Westbrook thing is completely over. Um, I'll go into all that later. And then you guys know about the drama bullshit. I've got a debate on Conspiracy Cats debate channel coming up with FTFE over certain things and stuffs. So Stacy says, watch where they got stuck by railroad tracks. Police came to help them and Shani went to the hospital on their on their trip. Like before they even get to their destination. Why? Why do they? Why does she want to be stuck somewhere like that? Oh, damn, dude. Did the kid really? No, the kid really didn't kill the cat. 
Shani was like exaggerating, but of course, Red took it seriously. Tight. That's how it was explained to me. And who knows? It could be a little bit different than even what I'm saying. The toilet was one of the boys' rooms, the bathroom that doesn't have the light working. That's just crazy. It's crazy. I I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. What what the what the fuck? There it's so extreme. It's so extreme. The whole toilet thing is extreme. That, I mean, I get why Drag used that as the thumbnail. <laughs> I get why Drag used that as the thumbnail. I thought Perez Hilton or somebody actually uh, shared the Shanny thing, and it got a lot of attention on, like, TMZ. Now, now the, not because it's Shanny. You got to remember, um, I think it was what happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, extreme locale person combined with uh, saying these kind of things that get you banned, right? Anyway... We're going to probably chill for a little bit, play some Tarkov, talk to the chat, and just keep the stream rolling. But for those of you that don't like it when we just sit around and talk about stuff while playing video games, of course, I'll probably see it tomorrow or the next day. Keep an eye out on Unirock 2. I was going to upload today, but it wasn't done. So uh, you'll get a Uni News followed by some other uploads in the next few days. And, you know, just keep an eye out. We're doing our thing. It's a really... Crazy time right now on YouTube. There's, It's a crazy time because, thankfully, there are different stories happening, which which is just, there's things out there that are just rife for the con. The content is right in front of your eyes. You just got to reach out and grab it. So, that's good. And that tends to happen sometimes. When there's a bunch of drama in the background, typically, it's when there is uh, not a lot going on. Because if there was a lot going on, then uh, people wouldn't be getting into drama and a lot of people want to start drama because they're bored because they want some content because they don't got anything else to do so it makes perfect sense we hit a little down dip with the content train things were a little boring youtubers start fighting with each other and trying to you know play games like that and then now there's all this stuff going on which just complicates trying to handle any of the bullshit that was going on there so who cares i guess we'll figure it out but let me get my uh, stream set up to switch over to the full screen room. And we might watch some more videos. We might do some other stuff. I have no clue what's going to go on right now. All I know is we are switching to full screen studio and entering the chill stream. So that should be fun. Uh, it, unless Busy ruins it by not playing a song. Thank you, Busy. You don't want to ruin it, Biz. You don't want to ruin it, big guy. Oh! What am I doing? What in the Sam hell am I doing? There's one more video. Menace's video. You know what? I think we're going to handle Menace's video tomorrow. Though, I'm going to share it to you right now. Let me go grab the link. Uh, Menace did a hell of a video today and it covers all the dumb drama out there but we're gonna hit that tomorrow because i don't have time to talk it's late anyway and i don't want to talk about it tonight okay what a very beautiful full screen studio what a nice full screen studio we got Keep, keep an eye out this week coming up. Or Hey, Lauren. No, thank you for being you. And I uh, appreciate you. Um, we, we've got a lot of live streams coming up where I'm going to be actually streaming and doing some uh, content as opposed to gaming. And that'll be this week. So for those of you that like our live show, you're going to have a few episodes of it where we can watch some of the stuff here um, that I can that I can clip out and that way have it for uh, content. You know, I like watching stuff on the live stream that I can use later for content. So we got to get, we got some stuff scheduled. Finally, we've got a nice little schedule coming up. That's nice. And I'm going to be getting some footage for you. So in the background of my videos, typically I do all kinds of different things and I'm going to start doing that thing I do during the summer where I take lots of walks and stuff like that. And anytime I find something cool, I try to film it. 
Uh, today on Twitter, when I was doing a Twitter live, I, I ran into a snake that was like this damn long, like this long. It was a big snake. So I showed it, I showed it to everybody. It was cool. Um, and I tricked everybody. I stomped on the ground and acted like the snake bit me. And everybody was like, oh no, the snake bit uni. But then I was like, ha ha, just kidding. <laughs> it was, I was slick. I was really slick. Wow, I haven't logged into Tarkov for a while. It's been a while since I lo logged into the Tarky. Damn, y'all. I don't know if you guys want me to play some Tarky. But yeah, it's been a minute here. Okay. Looks like Trio is in the staging room. Trio, hey, do you have a character ready to go or are you in a match? Yeah, I'm ready to go right now. All right. Okay. Let me see here. I got my interchange and woods keys. And I kind of want to try to kill Sturman. I want to exterminate the Sturman. That's always fun. So let's try to do that. Absolutely. So head into daytime on woods if you want. And I need some more S and B ammo for back. Actually, I think I'm fine. Um, and let me throw that pistol on. Actually, uh, there it is. I actually, guys, listen to this. I actually have money in Tarkov. I have like two rounds worth of money. Isn't that nice? That's a rarity for me. Oh my god, I got a thousand US dollars. I have some money, y'all. Damn, I can afford the big magazines. Alright, there we go. Wait, is this an 18 rounder? Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Hold on. That's where I there it is. No, that's a seven. Stop! Menace! Oh damn, we got the whole damn crew, bro. Holy shit, we got hit with the whole crew out of the blue, baby. All we're missing is Navy. Tell me if you guys see Navy. What's up? What's up, guys? We're about to try to exterminate Sturman. You want to exterminate Sturman with us? Let's do it. Menace, man. Killer video today. Um, I forgot to fucking react to it tonight, which is good because tonight's stream was uh, was kind of just thrown out out of the blue. So we'll have to do it tomorrow. Uh, but what have you guys been up to, man? How's it going, y'all? Not too bad. Just been chilling today, relaxing. Nice. Well, we have uh, one one good thing. We have the opportunity to talk about whatever we want in here. So, I need some check, pics check, of the puppy and a jumper, please. Yes, we can hear you, bro. What's oh, up, buddy? Good. I think I got uh, my audio hear. finally fixed. Oh yeah. Let me I, let me turn you guys up a little. I just want to say that I had uh, I'd watched the the video from Drag a couple of times and I, I forensically analyzed it and determined that the shit ninja that broke into Revan Shani's house is the same the same shit ninja that covered uh, Huffle Pegs and and the aliens dog and shit. <laughs> you know what? That makes perfect sense because they said they said it wasn't them that did that to the dog there too. So yes. Uh -huh. Well, we're in there, BCP. We're all waiting on you. Just so you know, Woods. No, go, go ahead. Run without me. I got to get situated yet. Okay. I just sat down here. Oh, it's been a busy... It's been a busy uh, four or five days, hasn't it, y'all? We got FTFE challenging um, everybody to a debate, and I accepted it. I got a hold of Conspiracy Cats and scheduled it. We're just waiting on um, FTFE to get back to Cats and get it all uh, hooked up. We got Menace that's supposed to... Didn't... Wait, didn't FTFE say he was going to cage fight you, Menace? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Come on, bro. Because, look, he was like... He acted... Oh, fuck. We got kicked. We got to go back in, y'all, just so you know. He acted like... Um, he was... He, he said something like, Oh, that's... That's acting like a tough guy right there. And it really wasn't because you were trying to, like, be ironic and funny. You were like, I'm not going to threaten you guys to beat you up and all that. We'll do it the right way. Because that's not some internet tough guy move to threaten somebody to an actual fight like that. And then um, it's funny because he comes in and goes, well, you're acting like a big tough guy, Menace. And then underneath it, he goes, 
what do you want to go fight me? Why don't you just meet up and fight me? So I said to everybody, I was like, he just said that's what Menace was doing, but then he did it. It was so hypocritical. So hypocritical. He said, uh, he said I wonder how he'd feel about hitting a disabled veteran. Oh, and yeah. My, my response to that is simple. If anybody's man enough to walk into a cage and hear that door lock behind them, I'm going to give them the same respect that I'm going to give anybody else, and I'm coming at them 100%. Yeah, because there, the, that's not a, uh, that's not one of those situations like he was describing. That's a situation where both people agreed to make it fair, um, you know, and do it right. But what's even funnier is, is he's not the only damn disabled veteran out there. He acts like he's the only damn one. He talks shit on all kinds of other disabled veterans out there. So I don't want to hear it from him. It's just stupid. Yeah, and the reason why I called Brainy out is just because he's a mouthpiece. He's always got something to say. Not because yeah. I disagreed with something that he said in particular, or we were having some specific argument. I just figured, hey, why not? He's in an area where, you know, I could fly out there, and why not just go to an MMA club, you know, somewhere yep. where there's a coach that can be a referee. Everything's legal. Everything's legit. It's a controlled environment. And put your money where your mouth is. Oh, yeah. So I mean that I mean if that was the case everybody would talk about how MMA fighters are pussies if what FTFE was saying was true so he missed the mark there yeah. and then there He both doesn't want to that's fine. like I'm not going to sneak up behind him and start chucking cans of spam at him or something like that. <laughs> it's all good if you don't want to. I don't care. Well what's funny is is that they were both just blowing up and I don't know if they had just just seen your video or something I don't think they liked your video I think that's why that all happened because it's weird because they were coming at you too so yeah I think they saw your video and then went psycho is why what happened there trio's getting the new computer to play Tarkov that's tight you're getting the new computer menace so trios will be there Monday have you ordered yours yet or you still got to get it It's good. Mine's coming in on Monday. I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, but I know that I didn't know if Menace ordered his yet or if he's still got to order it. And it's kicking us again. Third time's a charm. It'll do it three times. Watch. Watch. Third time will be a charm. It'll let us in the third time. And then it won't do it again. It, it's like it ha it's like people are, it's like when you first join in with servers with someone you're not synced up it has to sync it up or something I don't know oh my god those memes were so funny earlier <laughs> where did that come from what is this what what is that what is this meme it's so weird oh it creeps me out it's such a creepy meme Oh, God help us. God help me. <laughs> All right. I'm back in there again. Fuck, dude. And I bet you it'll, my computer, my new computer is going to help solve this problem, too. I bet you. For sure. It might. It might. Um,. Let me see here. Oh, taking a break from Twitter. Definitely. Definitely. I don't even use it. I share videos on it. I stream on it. But when you, when it comes to tweeting at people and interacting with people, hell no. Because the people there, at least the majority, like Twitter has a reputation for the majority of Twitter users to just be absolute idiots that'll just say anything. No standard at all. And ironically, we have... Uh, most of the stuff we talk about from Twitter is is literally because of uh, bumping into people like that. So yeah, I'm saying that the people who are that's such a good gun. That MP5 is such a good gun. The uh, the people we bump into from Twitter and the interactions we have on Twitter, oh yeah, they're there because of that. They are definitely there because of that reason. It's Marie Catherine Gallagher from SNL, but I don't know the man's face. Well, that's because it was Steb. <laughs> that was Steb's face uh, superimposed on Superstar. Oh, and yeah, I've seen I've seen her on SNL. I used to watch it all the time. She was on with Will Ferrell. Yeah, she was on with Will Ferrell. 
I don't know if your mic went out, Menace. We can't hear you talking if you were talking, just so you know. Just letting you know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I think for um the memes have been just too strong. They just they passed out, maybe. <laughs> The memes, this meme is like, you made that one, Ron Julian. <laughs> Jeez Louise, Papa Cheese. Ron <laughs> Julian McRae. Oh, that's the whole Ron Jeremy part of it. It just, oh my God, dude. I know. <laughs> Especially with the RO. Like, <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Ay vey. Superstar. I don't know why the like the tongue, the part where the tongue co tongue comes out of the meme. I don't know. It just throws it off. It makes it look really demonic. Oi. Strawberry dropped that one. It looks so demonic. <laughs> well, I oh oh oh. I think I don't think that uh, we've got this. You know, it's kind of fucked up because one of the things FTFE wanted to debate me on, as most of you probably know is uh whether brainy's uh racist and you know uh, unfortunately there's been a bunch of dms and other postings that have come out that are gonna make that debate just not a fun thing not a fun thing and then that kind of shows your the barbara streisand effect you know, because in the very beginning of all this we just talked to brainy about it and you'd expect it to kind of go away at that point yeah, you know, I shouldn't do that. Probably shouldn't say that kind of stuff. Yeah, definitely not not around here. Not around other people's networks and shit. Not in around other people's servers. And the people that were being DM'd also, it, it's just... I don't know how to explain it. You'll have to see him for yourself. But that's the fucked up part of it. I'd like for him to actually know that people don't say that to be mean. They say it because it's it's a it's a thing that happened and... Instead of it being handled and going away, it it snowballed into this giant thing. So, it's just uh, stupid. But if Are it's got to be that way, it? okay. Uh, yeah, I told you third time's a charm, man. I don't know why, but it only does it twice. It's like it like it gives up or something. <laughs> I don't know if it's trying to connect us to better. Lo Look how fast that loaded! My goodness. All right. I haven't played Tarkov in like a couple days, man. Been too busy, so this is nice. I'm gonna be rusty though. I Actually, my best games usually come out when uh, I haven't played in a couple days, so we'll see. Superstar, superstar. Okay, we're gonna definitely have a spawn directly that way at the end of the road. Another player, and then we might get another player up here somewhere, so watch out. This can be an early death if we're not careful. What map you guys running? Woods, we're gonna try to exterminate the Sturman. Menace. Are you inside, Menace? I'm going inside now. I'm going up right now, too, inside the front. Right you, My god, I can see so far with this voodoo. That whole shanty thing is insane, man. Oh, Man, could you left. imagine from, from 700,000 to that? 700,000? What do you mean? Well, they got a... He had a $700,000 inheritance. Oh, I know. Oh, my God. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Well, he just left a bunch of expensive shit sitting in that house. Careful. 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 Is so one of you guys... Oh, I, that's Menace around. Never mind. How do you, like, how long ago did you get the $700,000 inheritance? 
I think two or three years ago. Yeah. How yeah. in the fuck? How do you spin that in two or three years? It's got to be drugs. Like hardcore drugs for like three straight years. I mean, how well? I don't even know if you could spend it in that much amount of time. That's crazy. How? Are they broke now? Yeah, they're broke. That's why they got evicted. Yeah, oh they my have a god. Pot to piss in. Why'd they leave all of their stuff then? Because they probably didn't have a way to any money or a way to... Fuck, I lost Menace again. I lost all you guys. I went up the fence. You're coming Carry up to on, me. Carry on, guys! I already the crossed giant the, fence. Rock, the fence. Oh, okay. We're right back here. Alright, we good. Oh, you kept going straight? Yeah, I'll come back and go through the fence. Always plan. Oh, you want to head up towards the city or you want to head towards Sturman? It don't matter to me. Where, uh, which way did you go? Towards Sturman? Let's do it. We're at the hole in the fence right here. Like, hold on, a fire. You hear that? Yep. Cease fire. Go! Somehow fire. you got past me. Past you? Oh. I am so confused. <laughs> oh, I think I hear you. I gotta turn up Tarkov. I still don't see you. Oh, there you are. Him. Shit. All right. Damn, we really fucking got lost. All right. I we're going was crouched to down by the rock. Oh. We're going right, to the so city we or we're going to Sturman? Let's check Sturman and then we'll head to the city. I don't think we'll die. We won't die. We'll be all right. We won't die. <laughs> Hope you're ready to die. I hate losing all this good equipment every time I die. But it always happens. Oh, they fighting. That was a weird, that was a weird shot. Boom, 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 boom. I don't like being at this, uh, Plane. Sturman fires plane. three quick shots with his SVDS all the time. That was that might be him then. All right, stay together and get ready. We're going into combat mode here, just so we don't get jumped. Sturman could have taken a guy down. Scav, boss. Fuck. Whoa. I'm running left. Plank. Go over here for the bushes. Trio, watch that laser. Don't give away our position with it. I got my leg. I got my leg fucked. He's coming around. Careful. It's a player. Fucking. Oh, fuck. Careful. Fuck, I forgot painkillers. God damn it. Dude, careful! Oh, fuck. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We didn't die. Is he dead, Trio? Did you get him? I, I'm out of painkillers. I just got I legged and I didn't went. bring him. Fuck, don't tell me he lived, dude, because he's going to come he's back on us. He's on top us. of that rock somewhere. I heard him walking around up top right above you, Uni. 
Um, do you have painkillers, Tria? Uh, I think so. Can you let me borrow them for a second? Here, I got, I got a pack of uh, four. You can have. All right, nice. Listen, I hear dude. I hear dude. Careful. I heard something up there. Fuck, I don't know where they went. I just dropped them. Oh, damn it. Here he comes. Here he comes. Fuck. Do you got, do you got painkillers, Tria? Throw them down right here if you yeah. can. Because I can't move. No, I, I was right. Just right, right. No, go ahead. We're gonna die. You want him back? I can give him. Oh, there's one. Only one left. All right. All right. Finally, I can fucking walk. Nice. Here, you need right here. I dropped him. I got him. Right at the barrel of my gun. Thanks, dude. Now, careful. We gotta find this dude and fuck him up. Should get surgeried up, but I don't fucking care. I hit him so many times. He's gotta be close to dead. He's right there. I just heard him. Want me to grenade up there? Yeah, left side. I think he left, bro. Oh, he's dead. No, that's a scav. That's not him. It was a player with a green hat. Yeah, oh my god, these painkillers wear off so fucking fast. He probably came over here and healed and went up the rock, but I don't even see blood. I gotta find a place to surgery up. He might have ran because he might have saw there were three of us. I'm gonna lay down right here and thick patch myself up real quick. Yeah, he's gone, dude. He took off. That sucks because I jacked him sideways. brought a grizzly kit <coughs> to heal. He had a shotgun or something. He was trying to blast us and just knock us with it, but it didn't work out. Heard something to the left. Everybody good? Yep. First off, I hit him with AP uh, 45 bullets, and then I hit him with SMB rounds, and somehow the dude lived. He was probably almost dead, and he's probably out here looking, like, laying in a bush looking at us. We gotta find something to drink and eat and shit too, but...
we're about to get uh, destroyed over here if we don't find some cover and place to shoot from. There's a good spot right up here on the left here. These rocks and other shit. Let me check this sniper rock just to make sure nobody's chilling over there where we were chilling last time. Looks pretty clear. I have a feeling he's up, dude. I think Sherman's up. I think we did hear him earlier. I just heard, I swear I just heard a voice way out there. How do you kill this fool 25 times? You gotta kill him 25 times for this quest. That's crazy. Alright, there's the garage. The garage looks clear. Hmm. I don't see any movement down there. See any, look for dead bodies, too. Oh, right there. Alright, there's one down, but that was a, definitely a scab. Definitely a fucking scab, dude. I'm gonna scope in on the body. I gotta find something to drink here soon, too. Alright, so there's where they like to hide, too, and they're not there. There's Sturman's here you, bush. Here's a hot rod for you. Sweet. Thanks, dude. I should bring more stuff with me, but I'm broken. You guys are rich. <laughs> And I know there's a spot right down here where we can get some shit to drink and stuff. But you gotta be careful because these motherfuckers can be like ready to jump on this spot. Where is it? It says, uh. There's definitely a body inside the shed. Oh, yeah, I see it. Two bodies inside the shed. Alright, I'm down at the, uh. I'm at their, um, little bunker house, dude, where they, you know, their little house where they live. I think Sturman's up this go around. We got some bodies with some loot up here, though. That's always good. Yeah, there's definitely some scabs inside the shed. Oh, they look like scabs? Yeah, unfortunately. Could just be uh, lightly geared players. They could be players that have been hit, that uh, had their stuff taken. I <laughs> found a hot rod. That's crazy. And a jacket. <laughs> you never find those there. That's weird. All 
right, I'm gonna... Oh, the fuck? I thought I saw something. I'm gonna search this last shed real quick. You guys know where I'm at? There's like three... Three little cabins where they where all these dudes live out yeah, here. I'm, okay. I'm on the hill above you. I hear you walking around in there. Hey. Right. Damn, I found two Tashankas. I got stuff to drink and eat if anyone needs any. I'm gonna move into the shed and start looting those bodies up. I'm with you, I'm right behind you. Tiestria. Yep, jump down. Yeah, those look like scabs. Maybe the scab boss hadn't spawned yet? I guess they always spawn here. Well, they don't always spawn, but if they if they spawn there in the beginning of the match, I think. I don't know. Level, uh, that's a really good level 3 armor right there. If you need it, Tria. Where's it at? On that body. That's where they spawn, right over here, so they obviously aren't in. Yeah, there's not enough bodies for them to have uh, spawned. Alright, let's head down to the beach and we our extract's right next to us if we want to take it and then come back. Oh, did you get shot? Oh, Trio's dead. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Couldn't even hear it. Let's go this, this way. Couldn't even, I didn't even hear where it was from. We gotta go. It's far out. Yeah, we stood in that same place way too long. Now, we could try to stay up on that rock and watch his body until dude gets down and kill him, or we could just leave. Come on, let's go. I don't even have meds. What were, we'll come back. What were you doing when you got shot, Trio? I was losing the, the body. Oh, he was, so he was in the... Yeah, it was yep. going to be hard to get him there. Oh, get ready, Trio. We're heading back in. We're heading to the extract. If they would have been able to hear his shots at all, maybe. He could have been up on the mountain. There's just no telling where dude was. Has this been looted? It looks... I found some meds at least. Wow, oh, dead body. Nice. Okay. You need loot, Menace? <clears throat> no. 
No, I'm pretty full. I'm gonna grab the Saiga then. Found an idea key. Is that the one you gave me last time, or was that a different one? Nah, I don't know. There's three registers, so I found one register key. I just don't know which one it is. I gave you Ollie. Okay, so I got idea now. All right. I think that's the register key. Yep, idea registers. Yep, yep. Where's the left. road? To our left? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Went too far right. Here we go. Straight ahead. We're here. Oh, I just here, dude. Nice run. Shit. You just got to be a little faster next time down in that area. Yeah, you got to loot and scoot for sure, because when you're in an area like that, you know there's at least one sniper trying to look for people. Oh, yeah. Shooter born in heaven type shit right there. In those areas, Trio, I control and click everything into my backpack, and I sort it out later in a bush when I got some time. Like, I'll take even the junk loot. Just take it all and then worry about sorting it out when you need to make more room later on. Yeah, just hold control when you left click and it'll put it right in your bag. You hold alt when you left click and it'll put it on your body. Michael, what's up, dude? Good to see you. Sunny in Scotland for a change. Excellent. It was a nice sunny day here, too. I got a lot of sun and, uh, you know, had a good Friday. And I got some money thanks to that run. That's good. So I'm prepped up for the rest of the stream now. What do you feel like doing, BCP? You down for a scab boss hunt? BCP, are you there calling BCP? Calling BCP. <laughs> okay, now I can sell that SSD and diary. First, let's check that idea key. Oh, come on, it's got to be like right here. There it is, idea. Good eat thou. Well, it's going in my key tool. Now I've got Ollie and idea. Oh my god, bro. Sugars are down to 60,000. The whole economy is crashing in on itself. BCP, we can't hear you if you're talking. Found a red break. They're going for around 50. G4s are going for 10. That's not worth shit. All right, I'm back. Oh, there we go. What are you wanting to do, bro? Anything special? Anything special? I'm geared up to go back in there. Let's go. I just need some ammo. Give me one second. I think I'm going to try to sell this SSD drive. They're going for 45. Okay, we're good now. Bring meds, painkillers, etc. Oh, yeah. Food and water. Uh, I'm about to crash my game. It's doing that stupid shit again. Oi.
me <clears throat> energy. I can bring you food into the next one. I found a bunch. Not getting any food on your scavenge trail? No. Man, I've been selling food back to the therapist because my cooler's full. I gotta get one of those. That pisses me off that one round. I don't think I got out with that cooler. Maybe I'll I bring didn't some food in. I'll bring some food and water in for uh, Trio because I got tons. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, hey Cyber, you can come hang sometime. Do what, bro? I was just saying that guy, someone's going to get a nice MP5. <laughs> I don't even... Well, he might grab your stuff. He might. That MP5 is nice. I can buy one off the trader. The cheap. There we go. Now I've got money and things and stuff. And I'm going to take water just in case. i got to sell this. Well, oh, Navy's, Navy's in staging. All right. What's up, dude? Where are we going? I unmuted you, Navy, just so you know. Uh, we're going back to woods to do another Sturman hunt. Hunt for the red Sturman October. Wait, hunt for yeah, the if we go Sturman back over November. there again... I'll, I'll just I'll just stick around to the tree line. Well, you gotta kind of. Oh, good, bro. You kind of gotta hang out in the. If you're inside there, you gotta kind of move and keep yourself away from the doors because people are gonna try to snipe in on us. But it happens. It's just one of those things. Can we jump in this time if we're anywhere near CB fourteen. Drop oh. off. Yeah, yeah. Water. I gotta drop off water to finish that, uh, or the MRE to finish that one. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, damn, I can trade three meds and a blood set for ibuprofen. Nice. Fuck it, I'm buying ibuprofen, dude. Okay, got one. Nice. All right. So, let me see. I need to put this ibuprofen in my shit. Uh, I know it's, I know it charged me for that shit and I bought it. There it is. And then, um, Propitol. There we go. And then I need SMB rounds and I'm ready. So, uh, watching KJ's video. Looked like she had her eyebrows done, her hair done, some new clothes. Looked like she had that glow about her, like she was maybe taking them Halo vitamins. I'm thinking she got <laughs> paid. I think she got paid. And she got sent some Halo vitamins to to, uh, to advertise. Yeah. All right. I mean, she got paid. She literally got paid. And then she sent the money and got herself a beauty box. She was smiling from ear to fucking ear, dude. And she loves Toddy now. You notice how she loves... Remember how Toddy and them were... She would describe them as... Uh, criminals and nasty and du dubious and devious, and now they're just the best people ever. I'm telling you, the, the hypocrisy runs strong with her. And, um, yeah, no, she absolutely got what she wanted out of the deal. And I think that was, yeah, that was, that was kind of the point, though, right? Is that she got the, the views and she got the, uh, the association going on. Yeah. Yep, so but since Toddy likes her, Toddy's, like, awesome now. Well, and now that she's given up her source and is obviously singing like a bird, uh, 
that's going to help Toddy with her other lawsuit. So she's going to yeah. gain a ton of subs because now she's playing the role of the good guy, right? So she's going to get gain a ton of subs from Toddy's side of things. Oh, yeah. She's definitely going um, full Toddy. She's like full Westbrook cheerleader, which is fine. I mean, Katie lied <laughs> to us, though. Do you remember, Navy? I sat in here in that clip, in that one video by Reality, and it's on this channel, and I'm yep. asking Katie if she has a, if if Swanson has her source, and she says no. You know what I mean? She was really, all right, let's head in Woods. She was really strict about Swanson not being her source. And then look at what she yeah. admits to today. On that video, she admits that he's, just, I'm going to play that reality clip, and then I'm going to play Katie saying that it, he's the source. Well, you asked her several times. If uh, Swanson was her source, and every every single time we were in VC and she was talking about, it, no, 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 it's not, it's not him, it's somebody else. I'm not going to reveal it, right? And shocker, it's him. Yep. And that just goes well, to show you, if she was willing to say it wasn't him, that's fine, but don't lie to us, you know. Well, I think she's going to gain a bunch of subs from Toddy's side. I think she got paid a big chunk of cash from Toddy. And I think the KJ haters are having an epic meltdown right now. Oh, yeah. The KJ, this is that part of the story where the KJ haters get so pissed they go find somebody else to fuck with, and Katie's channel blows up. That's what's happening. Can we, can we take a bet on how long it's going to take before she uh, fucks it up again? Like, I, I want to do a pull. Tomorrow. Well, I think she already is. She's already doing the same kind of clickbait create a story content and i said this in my, one of my last videos on the channel i'm like katie is straight up trying to make us think josh duggar did something else and got arrested but when you click the video it's completely different than that so she and she's getting hundreds of thousands of views on those videos and pulling in a big audience and then she tries to roll into regular stuff and then it doesn't do as well and she goes up and down and up and down so just like every channel that's ever done it before her. It's a clickbait style of trying to grow your channel. Typically, people don't do that because their channels die off. At some point, your channel dies off. But we'll see. She could be the smartest YouTube businesswoman well, that ever existed. We were talking about this earlier in Discord. I think the problem with her is that she can't be out of controversy. So... She enjoys the aspect of people hating her and all this kind of stuff on Twitter and going, you know, coming at her. Right now, she doesn't have that. I mean, the K haters are, you know, whatever. But she likes to embroil herself in controversy. So, in about, I'm guessing, I say about a week, two weeks maybe, you're gonna find something else controversial to her, you know, for her to talk about, and then she's gonna be once again back into the fire. And people going at her on Twitter and all this kind of stuff. That's what she loves. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it won't take long. It's pretty bad. Did you see that picture of uh, R and Raw genuine and dollar store fake R and Raw? Did you see that picture? I'm going to oh, copy it's so it. Good. It's so good. Oh, my God. It, I love it. It's 100%. It's like, you know... Dollar store lost girl. That's what it is. Yeah. Well, I think I'm okay. To... So hold on. Con Conspiracy cats wrote back and says FTFE says he's good to go, but only wants to discuss brainy, nothing else. He doesn't want to discuss doxing. So he can say this shit about me, but he can't debate me on it. G Willikers, Batman. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? And Sly is asked to debate Uni. I'm not sure on what. Um, uh, you're gotta be joking. Okay, we gotta go this way. We've got we can hit a really good spawn for loot and then go straight down. Trio, come get your food. So yeah, I. I, I that if that motherfucker, what the fuck? Oh, if if that if if he if Sly could go to Twitter and correct all of his lies, 
So anything he's lied about in the last three months. No, let's go back five. Nah, three months. If he wants to go out and correct his lies and admit where he lied and where he didn't, I'll consider it. But if he's going to be dishonest, he can fuck off. I don't know what he's talking about. He doesn't even make a fucking good video. His videos are nothing but... I believe my friends 100% and everything Uni says is a lie. Now debate me! Hold on, I got movement. You sure? Back on the other, on the other side of the town. I'm in the shed. I'm in the shed, just so you know. I'm, running I'm up looking. The shed. To the left, I'm going to the left of the shed. I don't see anyone. I don't see any more movement. Just be careful. Let's move up one more. I'm moving up to the second shed here. He was running left to right. Suck. Last time I switched to my pistol, lo and behold, a player shows up. Oh yeah, there's movement back behind the, the broken up house. Hey, I'm in the house real quick. house on the left side of the road no he's on our side he's behind right. this house here how much of a pussy is he to say i only want to debate bra uh, about brainy it sounds yeah, like i oh. shoot him <laughs> he's down yeah, he is. It's not, it's not some preconditions getting put on this uh, debate like some other debates that we've seen in the yeah, past. Yeah, it sounds like some conditions on there, huh? If he can go out on Twitter and he can lie his ass off about me, he can answer for it in front of everyone. For everything, not just what he determines that he only he should, wants to talk about. He can't debate me on doxing, but he can sit out there like because he, he doesn't want me to pull up what he fucking did. I will. I'll call. That's the yeah. problem, though. That's the problem. I don't want to do that to cats. So I'm just going to be straight up. I'll come to the debate, but I'm asking you about the doxing, and I'm showing everybody what you fucking did, asshole. So well, because let's see if he shows. FTFE, if you're watching this, I'm going to tell you right now. You're a little bitch. Come at me, bro. Okay, okay. Be careful, though. Wait. Oh, is that you? Is that you? Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I almost killed you. Good thing I pulled to the right when I pulled the trigger because my bullet flew by your brain. And he's... The thing about it is he can say this shit, but he can't stand by it. That is scummy. That is scummy as fuck. It's just as scummy as him saying Power. it in the first place. The, if the fact that... Power. And he's the one calling... You know what he said? He said, these motherfuckers won't debate me because they're cowards. I go to debate him. Now he wants to put conditions on it just like fucking Reds does. Just like Reds does. He wants to put conditions on it and say... Oh, I can't, I can't fucking talk about that even though I went to Twitter and tried to tell everybody that was true. You know what I'm saying? It's just fucked. Somebody grab that juice. I got too much to drink. I just fucking... These guys, man. They act like everybody else is the coward and everybody else is the bad YouTuber and everybody else is scummy and everybody else is doing this. Just like fucking Brainy's dumbass sitting on fucking... uh. Uh, team stream saying, well, didn't Unidoc somebody? <laughs> I'd like to see you try to prove it, asshole. Because he's just going to look like a fucking idiot. Well, even so team bad, told man. Him even Team told him to shut up when he was talking. Right? Team's crazy, man, for having him on. Because Team does not have to give these people the platform he gives them, especially if they're going to act like this. I don't know why Team doesn't understand. People don't... People break away from these people... When, when, when these, like, these motherfuckers approach other YouTubers, they can't act like I went seeking them go? out, right? We're heading we're, towards the... We're trying, hill. To, we're trying to get that hardcore loot, bro. We're going to that hill where those shipping containers are, where we always get in all the fights. 
you up where them shots are from coming from? I don't hear any shots. You hear shots? Me neither. Neither do I. Uh, you guys didn't tell me you were taking off. I was still waiting. Right here. Listen, listen, listen. Well, we're just going to keep moving through here. So I'm just, you know, we can't stay in any spot too long. That's how we get fucked. I heard you. But, okay, we're right here. We're just moving up into the, by the, the thing before the radar. You come here and then you go to radar. And actually, it looks kind of clear so far. I, they're so fucking evil, bro. It's, that's so fucked. There's a there's a dude. He's at the back. You know the back where they always spawn at. There's one there. Careful. There he is. Good hits. Good hits. He was still shooting at me, right, fucking asshole. Open the box. Nah, that's true. You're right. Just say that you'll debate everything in the public domain. Simple. Exactly. That, but I told that's what I told Katz. I said, I don't have any conditions or anything like that. I want to debate him on the topic of doxing first and then brainy second. The brainy thing is only going to take a couple screenshots. Because I'm I can show up, where... Shoot me. I can show where Brainy tried to lie to everybody and say that there was only two examples. And then I can show a bunch more examples. So if there are all these examples out there... But Brainy goes around telling people, Uni's lying on me because there's only two examples. Done. Over. Straight up. He's, I can prove he's literally lying to people about this issue. Right? That's what that shows, that he's lying about this issue. And I don't give a fuck. I don't want to make Brainy look bad. Brainy makes himself look bad, but then tries to say, I'm doing it to him. Which is the, la the worst thing that a fucking... Uh, uh, commentator or whatever he calls himself debunker. He calls himself debunker, but he's just a commentator, and that's the worst thing one can do is to do that. Because it proves he can't take criticism, but he thinks he should get paid to spew it out. Right? Alright, we're moving on. Let's move it. Well, like I said, they're, uh, they're pathetic cowards that um, can't defend their own rhetoric when it comes to... Uh, well, we saw what happened with Rain. Someone asked him from asking his Twitter to define, you know, defamation. And what did he do? He fucking ran away like a little bitch. I just don't get it. He acts like everybody's talking shit on him. No, everybody's reacting to you shit-talking us. He got mad because he got kicked out of my Discord. I will prove to everybody in front of the entire community why he got kicked out of my fucking Discord. And remember when Brainy was looking at those Discord messages and, and uh, he, like, when Team on the stream with Team and he goes... Um, we need to play Menace's video since we're talking about it. But he goes, uh, um, if I saw that in my server, I'd kick him out. That's what Brainy said. Bullshit yep. you would, motherfucker. That's the point. You say shit like that on Twitter. And that's why Menace's video is so great. We're watching Menace's video at the very beginning of the fucking stream tomorrow. Did you guys check downstairs? We good? Yeah, I'm downstairs now. Not right, much down here today. This right, the we're bunker? about to head over. Uh, yeah, but it's clear. This isn't CV 104, is it? No, 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 no. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. We're heading. We're get. We're going there, but we're not there yet. You guys with me here? Because we're heading down. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go as planned. I mean, to be quite honest. He can go grab any clip from anything I've said, and there's an explanation for it, right? I mean, I try to take, with these guys, I take even more of a standard to, to make sure that there is more than enough commentary there so that they aren't confused, they don't think I'm putting them down or fucking, you know, lying on them or any of that. I show where everything comes from, I back it up. They don't bother to do that for me, but I'm the liar and they're not, and they're the good guy and I'm the bad guy. Though, they have no reasoning and no commentary, it's just, you gotta believe them. You gotta trust them, just gotta trust them. And I don't know why, like, he would, like, it's it's crazy to, to see him sitting here do, playing that game when these clips exist. And these fucking screenshots exist, right? Have you, you've seen them, right, Navy? Yeah, no, I saw them. And the whole idea that these guys live off of their uh, reputation 
and that you just need to believe them because they are who they are is complete horseshit. They shouldn't live off their fucking reputation. That's crazy. <laughs> weird and crazy that they're on YouTube and they're saying, hey, trust me on things. It's like, we can't trust anybody on YouTube, motherfucker. That's the point. That's how people get ripped off and fucked over. All I know is they don't care to argue it with words. How dare he sit there and say that shit on... You don't, if you don't want to debate that shit, then you go to Twitter and fucking tell people the truth about it then. Or, as soon as that debate starts, I'm fucking calling you on it. Just to let you know. Just saying. Alright. Painkillered up. About to breach the next one. And it hadn't been looted yet, just so everybody knows, it has not been looted yet, at least that I saw. This looks like it's not looted. Drew, make sure you grab all this food, because you're going to need it if you ain't got none in your stash. Looks like there's another good chain there, man, in that treasure spot. Ooh, that's two bottles of vodka. Noise. I got two sugars. You just kind of got to ask yourself why these guys are like this. It just makes no sense. If he's going to say that kind of shit, even if it's accidental, just explain yourself, just own it, fix it, and move on. Like, we went to him in private and tried to tell him, like, you can't do that shit, man. You're going to fuck up your YouTube. You're going to fuck shit up if you do it. So, Navy, do you think it's my fault that Brainy did all that shit, or is it Brainy's fault? Should I feel guilty because Brainy decided to do things and then did it, or, or, or what? What do you think, Navy? <laughs> so, as far as I understand, from talking to Brainy, he's a grown-ass adult, right? Who makes his own decisions by doing everything he does, right? So, um, I love the fact that he tries to use, uh, because we have people in this Discord, the fans of yours that are out there who are on medication and all this kind of stuff. Same medication he's on for the same reasons, right? You guys hear my bullet? Yeah. I'm heading down, so. And he wants to blame that and you on causing him to be, um, what's the word? A fucking asshole. And, the thing is, is that what everyone understands, what real people understand, is that he's just a fucking asshole in real life. And that's what it is. So, no, it's not your fault. You didn't do anything wrong. He's just a... You guys coming down? Did I lose you? I don't see anybody. You took off with, with, before you said anything to us, and I think we all lost you. Do you hear me? Yeah, I see you up there. Come to, Like, I'm down in the field heading, heading towards the extract and towards ZB, uh, the next ZB gate. Okay, so if the ZB gate's open, we'll take it. We got. We all probably got a shit ton of loot, don't we? I'm let's try to. Stuffed. Let's try to take the ZB gate, and if it's not open, we'll head. We'll go ahead and extract out, and then we'll come in for a Sturman run after this, because we got a damn good loot run right now. It's just that, like I've been saying, Navy, they don't want anything. Look at this. Uh, he acts like. We're going to debate, you know, everybody's, uh, it, everybody said fucked up things about Brainy, so we're going to debate it. No, you and him said lies about me, so we're going to debate it. Yeah. Or you can just sit there while I talk. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. You can just pass after I'm done. Honestly, I, th I tell you the truth, if I had to, like, give my honest opinion on this, is I think they're super jealous of you because you have a fun YouTube channels. You have multiple YouTube channels. You have fun on you have a Discord that they wish they were in, that Brandy was in, and misses, like many of the others who were... Why you know, didn't he come back then? Reason. What do you think, man? Why he, didn't he come back? Why didn't he just fucking come back and stop being an asshole and trolling everybody and saying fucked up shit? And then he could have come back. Because I think he was... <clears throat> I think I think honestly that his little like group 
they had, right, promised him that if he did all this kind of crazy stuff, they would help him become bigger on YouTube. Guess what he wants, right? The problem is, though, all these guys... Right, I told him they people, wouldn't. I said they'd bring him said, down. He didn't listen. Right. But they all, they're so pathetic. <laughs> Their lives are so horrible. Like, like, he's really like, jealous because you have an amazing I, aspect with you and Rach and your channel and what's going on. Our Discord is amazing. Right. Well, the thing is, like, uh, uh, it. he acts like I tried to stop. Like, I'm not scared of him, either of them, none of them. I will represent anything I put out right now, just like I did when I put it out. I'll remember it. I'll argue it. I'll be on point. I'll be articulate. I will be not, I won't talk too long or too short. I'll make sure to get in there and do it. So, my thing is, is, like, if they can't do that in response, then, and obviously there's some issue here. There is a major issue if you can go out on Twitter and say the dumb shit that they've said. And then when I go and say, well, he, you know, it, it's so off putted It's so, like, uneven. Because it's like, yeah, people, uh, Brainy has a claim that everyone's lying on him about that stuff. And we're like, no, we're not. We've got evidence. We'll back this shit up. And I say, well, you motherfuckers are lying on me. Where's your evidence? Let's debate this. I'm not talking about that. We can't talk about that if we debate. Oh, we're open, guys. Let's go. Fuck it. Let's get How out. How did I lose you guys? I don't know. I just think you don't watch. You don't walk with us or something. <laughs> we're at ZB14, though, where you got to put that out. Follow the gunshot and look for the green smoke. Oh, I'm taking that survival 12. Here, I'm going to drop a milk on the ground if anybody wants it. All right, I'm extracting. All right, where I can get you? ready. You just, yeah, you put those things right there and then the extract's right behind you, so. Yep, I just got to drop the one. Yeah, phone typing's a nightmare for YouTube and Discord. It's just stupid. It just sucks. And well, also, hey, Drew, those guys, the problem they have, right? Is that their entire community was built on a lie, right? Yeah. About built on you know bullshit that they have on. I have evidence on you about this and all this kind of stuff, right? And they are jealous of what we have over here. That's why they hate you so much because they've been in here. All of them have been in here at one point in time. They've seen the way we interact with each other. They've seen the the camaraderie. They could be here. That we have. They could have been a part of it. You know, I tried to warn FTFE because I didn't want to see his channel damaged by Reds' bullshit. Negative tried. I tried. So many other people tried. He came in here. I mean, it's like he knows. He can go look in his DMs and see that that everybody tried to warn him and say, "Dude, Red, we tried to warn him a fucking year ago." And he's and here's the most fucked up part. The most fucked up part is when you try to warn him, he'd come back and put you down. Like, oh, you're just lying on him. You're just jealous of him. It's like, how narcissistic do you have to be to respond like that? It's like, come on, dude. Well, do you want to see the evidence? No, I don't want to see the evidence because he's not doing that. How do you know he's not doing that? Because I can prove that he is doing that. No, you can't. You can't do that. I don't care what you have, but you can't prove it. So there's there's major issues from the start with that way, with that line of thinking, in my opinion. Major issues from the outset. But, but one thing I will say is that conspiracy, conspiracy Cats is just, like, the fucking best creator out there that wants the best for the community. Um, just a really good guy. And, uh, yeah, just can't say enough great things about him. And, uh, you know, but never no, say that thing. Awesome. Cat, yeah. Those guys are, him and Simon and Dan are, like, separated from this bullshit 100% because... You know, um, they will talk to you. Like, like cats, you know, you're in talks with cats right now. And all this kind of Always stuff. Always have been. He's, ever since I first wrote the guy, he's never once not written me back, never once not talked to me when I asked to talk to him, and never once said anything that anyone would say, you know, is bad. I mean, if anyone ever, you know, I'm not going to say a lot, but... What I will say is that he really cares for his community and wants the best for it. And, I, I mean, it's well, just so evident hearing him talk. And he's actually intelligent. That's the thing. Like, yeah. This guy's an actual teacher. Like, he teaches yeah. kids this stuff all the time. And so, unlike the rest of those um, posers, 
he is someone who actually understands what's going on. And as actually, he, he's the one who is actually a skeptic. Like he is skeptic when it comes to all this stuff. He will take both sides. He will break it down and figure out, you know, what makes sense of what side, right? And oh, yeah. the thing is, they're pissed off because he knows that they're wrong. They know that he knows that they're wrong and mm-hmm. that they're going to lose all this stuff. And The thing is, everybody know, knows. All anyone has to do is look at what they're doing and saying. And they're like, dude, that's fucked. And it's like... What, I, I even said this to him today. I said, I don't want any of these guys to be negatively affected by something that I say or do. Though, if they put out something publicly and I talk about it and give a basic fucking opinion on it, that's not me doing it, right? That's where they fuck up so bad. And that's where Reds did and the rest of them and nope. Sean and, and all of them to, to all their little fucking cronies. They fucked up because they thought... That if they just sat there and said, it's this person's fault, we did nothing wrong, that it just made it that way. No, it's only that way if you can argue it. And if you can't, then obviously there it's not that way. And unfortunately, that's what ended up happening in this situation. It wasn't – we had Sean from the grip. These guys still fucking act like – and it surprised me. Team the other night said, nobody believed you when you came out and said this, Uni. So this dude obviously does not look outside his community because I'm sorry to break the news, team. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. The leaders of your community believed me from the absolute start. They all agreed with me. And newsflash, bro – they're all willing to talk to me and fucking appreciated what we did. You know, I mean, they they think yeah. that everybody hates me, right? They built this illusion that everybody hates me. I'm the worst person ever. But here's what. Here's what all these creators in their community know. That the minute you debunk somebody, the people that like that person, they're not going to like you, right? But they will realize once they see the proof and the truth and they figure out who's really lying and who's not. They're going to realize who that is, and then they're not going to follow the person who's lying to them. So they wouldn't follow me either way. But one thing's for sure. If you're lying to your audience like Reds did and like all like some of these other guys are with this other bullshit, if you're sitting there running another fundraiser like Schrodinger's Cat is, the other communities, the other creators in the community, the people that are way bigger than Schrodinger's Cat, way more influential than Schrodinger's Cat, and the people around him and, and that whole place... They're looking down and thinking the same thing I'm thinking just because they don't agree with me and they go out and say, we don't agree with uni. So we all have to band together and try our hardest to scream as loud as we can to get everybody to to also not agree with uni because if we spam it out there enough, no one else will agree with them either. They failed there. They massively failed there because that's just not how YouTube works. It's not how the internet works. Um, And now they're, they're starting to realize after what just happened with the fundraisers, uh, you aren't, they're not trusted anymore. Like they operated off of trust and that's just pure insanity. Um, oh, oh, give me all four of those. Give me all four of those. Tell me I bought them. Tell me I got them. And let me guess this whole fucking thing's going to lock up again. It did. Oh my God. I love Tarkov so much. I just love it. Let's see if it'll, like, catch up itself. Here, let's just exit and restart that way. You know, I have i can't click on anything they have and hear them talk and say anything else other than, uh, we're mad, we're angry, they suck. That's their arguments. That's their yep. fucking arguments. That's all they've got. We're mad, we're angry. That's well, called I'm- butthurt, you know? That's what butthurt is right there. Well, and the funny thing is, you've always asked for people to make videos that they don't like something you said, right? And make or come if you won't come talk to me, make a video. That yeah, the video is secondary. Right, right. You come talk to me or make yeah. a video. Even when even when Team went on his rant uh, against Res and Sean, he didn't mention you by name, but he mentioned a person who was right twice, and that he doesn't agree with you all the time. Right Here's twice. Wait till he finds right. out how many times I'm fucking right, bro. Wait right. till he finds exactly. out. But the thing was, though, is that when they sit there and say they disagree with you, they don't like you know certain things you do. They don't mention anything specific. They don't Give have us anything. Something specific. Give us something. Or, like, yeah, I disagree with him on yeah. this aspect, or when he said this in the scope, or he said this in a 
you know, a live stream or Pull whatever. Pull the clip, play the clip, yeah. criticize the clip because that's what he does to you, right? They can't. They can't. That's how you all know as a community which which of us is bullshitting because they cannot do it. They can't do it because they have to try to fucking fashion bullshit. They got to lie. They got to try to come out and attack and lie to even get the slightest thing. The problem is you don't get shit by lying. <laughs> you don't get to move up the ladder by lying. I don't understand how people on YouTube haven't, they don't get that. They, they literally tell themselves, oh my God, if we just don't admit it, then no one will know and no one will care. It's like, dude, you're just fucking, you're not fucking me over. You'll never fuck me over that way. But there is someone that you're going to fuck over by doing that. There is somebody. You. You're going to fuck over you and your channel. That is where the damage to their channels are coming from. That is where the issue is coming from. That that thing that I just explained right there. All right. Where you guys want to go next? We can keep running for Sterminator or whatever you want to do. I'm good. Doesn't matter to me. I'm... I'm still geared for wood, so. Well, let's do some woods, and then we'll hit some factory. How's that sound? Sound good? Yeah. Yeah, because I got a whole bunch of freaking insurance back I need to get rid of. Me too. Me too. I, look at all this, dude. AKMN. 762 oh. AKMN. SVDS. Uh, RP, 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 light machine gun. AK-74. SVDS. SKS. <laughs> AK-105. SKS. Go ahead. Sorry. I just want to put this out there right now that um, I saw uh, Fife's little uh, fucking Twitter stream about how he was stepping into the ring with Menace. Did it say Brainy, right? I'll tell Menace right now. Did you say Twitter stream? It. Yeah, his little like, uh, Twitter response. To oh, wait, Menace. wait. Was it a stream uh, or was it a tweet? It was a thread. It was a tweet. Okay. Tweet. Tweet. It was, okay. Yeah. Go to Woods, guys. Go to Woods. Okay, go ahead. I will, um, I will right now and everyone can hear me say this, I will put up the money to fly Menace to fucking scout. Oh, shit. Really? It wouldn't be that expensive, really. 100%. If, if he decides to accept, because he pulled that disabled well, he accepted. bullshit. Yeah. Oh, no, he if, accepted. If FDFE yeah, accepted. I want to do that, yeah. I will, I will literally pay for Menace to go fly over there and fly back. Damn, hell yeah, dude. Poor FTFE. Oh shit. <laughs> you can run back and grab it if you need to, bro. Yeah, I want to do this one quest real quick. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, the, the uh, dehydration quest? Yeah. Apparently, Brainy also accepted on the premise that I'm too scared to follow up with it. <laughs> Is that what he said? <laughs> That's what he said, yes. That's what he said. That, um, Whoa, was, no, uh, hold on. What, 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 what is he said? Talking tough on Unistream and whining in the background. Whining and What does that even mean? How did he whine in the background? What does that mean? He's lost, dude. <laughs> he is. He doesn't get it. He could, at any point, he acts like... He acts like he has some fucking argument or something that I'm trying not to hear from him. And he's going around trying to educate everybody that Unirock won't hear his argument. I've been sitting here this whole fucking time. All he's had to do is act this professional. And he could have a seat and actually fucking tell me his argument. In fact, I even one-upped him. You know the reason why I give him option two, Navy? Because they're never fucking... Man enough or able enough to be able to present an argument to me. And, and that's right. why I try to say, well, then why can't you just record it and put it on your channel? You get me? So just a bunch of beta little bitches who act tough on the internet. That's all it is. Like, the whole reason well, why I said what he said was because he was in Scotland. He's like, oh, he's never going to come over here. Well, I'll tell you what, if I, I'm giving him the opportunity. If he wants to go over there and meet well, then he'd, he'd have to accept but. it. If fight accepts it, you you mean of course to accept it for an actual like YouTube event type thing where two people, regardless yeah. of how big they like are, two, step into an, men, a ring for an actual men. judged yeah. fight, a judged match. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If two men consensually agree. Yes. To fight okay. Together, yeah. yeah. Because that's what it was about, guys. In case you're not you know caught up on it it was about like a you know a boxing or ufc type thing um 
But, the, and the reason that Menace put that out, of course, was because these guys were acting all tough against everybody. So he's like, yeah, right. They wouldn't even accept, you know, an actual legit type thing. And the thing is, what's with all the anger? Where, where does it even come from? It doesn't come from here, you know? <laughs> and we're sitting here chilling this whole damn time just witnessing this kind of embarrassing show from these guys, this embarrassing display that they're the ones that put on. I mean, every day it's like, what, which side does it come from? It comes from their side. And they, it all starts because I criticize them. And I said it. I made sure that everybody followed the flow. I made sure. I made sure that everybody out there knew this all started because of a criticism. And instead of responding to it as they claim they are, which is commentators that can respond to things on YouTube like flatties and sob sits, they try to come over and, and say uh, they try to talk shit in the background. In fact, it's almost like Brainy was describing him in fight because that's all those two have been doing. They try to turn down any opportunity to discuss the things that they br they bring the shit up in public. We step up and either criticize it or I challenged him to a debate or accepted his debate on cats with cats. Um, and now, just like with Reds, we've got this condition and we've got them, you know, changing it up. And at the in the end of it, you have you ask yourself, are they just wasting everybody's time trolling? And essentially, that's what this is. Instead of doing the easy thing that has a resolution, talking, exchanging a video's response between each other, whatever it is, right? Instead of doing that, they choose the um, the option to just create drama every day. I, I don't know. Maybe they think it's fun. Maybe that's what's fun for them. Even if you just look at the, their whole side completely, all they have is anger and hatred and insults, whether it's fucking flatties or religious extremists or the soft sits. That's all they have is anger, hatred, and insults. Yeah. Putting people down, making fun of them, instead of actually, like, trying to be comedic and funny. That's why I prefer Conspiracy Cats and Psyman. Psyman's where I go if I want to watch some, like, get educated in a quick way while watching um, the dumbest shit, the dumbest people act the dumbest way. And Conspiracy Cats is legit comedy. It's, it's legit intellectual comedy. You know, no I do like Dan, because he doesn't, he doesn't berate players. He just corrects them. Yeah. And... The same thing that Katz does. He says, and, make, and then Katz has that silly comedy. <laughs> it's so good. Okay. Guess what? Hold on. Wait, wait. Give me like we got the spawn. Seconds. We got the spawn. Hold on. I would... Uh, 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 well, oh, no, we're good. We'll wait on you. We'll go up here instead. We'll go up here instead. Go ahead. We'll walk through the field.